That's right. Who needs a countdown anymore? Welcome, everyone who's one or two of you that are here. Maybe we'll start the countdown again. But it is a spork of ice and fire if you're watching this afterwards. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. We have had a great growth here at Sporky News Podcast the last week and a half, thanks to a couple of my friends and people sharing. So thank you guys so much, and I hope uh, you stay. Um, but tonight, we are going to be doing uh, some theories about a song of ice and fire we're going to be doing a trivia game and then we'll go over prepping for dance of the dragons i'm sorry house of the dragons we'll be prepping for and uh that'll be going over fire and blood i think it's like chapter eight uh talking about uh the beginning of jaharis's reign uh which is uh kind of an important deal in the history of westeros so we will be hitting that but please make sure you uh once again like share if you're on uh hit the Thumbs up on Rumble, like on YouTube, comment, let us know you're here. And uh, we will start by introducing people. Uh, our man Mason right here is on his lunch break, so let's make sure we say hi to him first. What's up, Mason? Hey, everyone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, happy to be here. Uh, hopefully I can stay a little while longer. Yeah. That, that was deep. That was deep. Yes. I felt it yes. right here in my heart. <laughs> we also got I it in my colon in my colon uh we also have the greatest king of westeros uh the the sir davos bent the knee to stannis baratheon stick kenobi how are you hi doing quite well and if i'm the best king westeros has ever had westeros is fucked big time On your big time on. hi sherry how are you thanks for being here uh, yeah, they're screwed. They're screwed. Uh, and last, but definitely not least, Sir Gregor McGrant. Mr. Grant. How you doing? Happy to be here. I'm really looking forward to um, talking some theories because if anyone knows Stig, they know that he can mind worm you for hours with just a couple of pages of a book. And it's uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Plus, we've got the trivia I've been working on. Uh, upgraded the production value a little bit more with it. So uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Can't wait. I am excited, too. We have one man show too. Greetings and salutations. God dang it. I'm hitting everything. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to make sure. Second last. Nice. Uh, we're going to go over a couple theories to start the show off. I got to find the page. Uh, but why don't, if Stig, you don't mind uh, letting people know the theory. So um, we're going to at least take 10 minutes on this theory because it's, it's one of the better theories. And it's something that I've already thought about with Stig from the very first uh, chapter of the book, actually the prologue. And then he found something else in Game of Thrones that kind of dials it in even a little bit more. So why don't you just give a rough uh, summary of what the theory is about? Yeah, um, I uh, came across it when I was rereading book one. And it's when uh, the undead attacks the lord commander right it's it's this uh well, when john snow saves the lord commander and burns the white um seemingly it's the undead trying to assassinate uh the lord commander which makes no real sense he's an old man if they kill off lord commander right uh someone else is going to take his place so it, it's not going to affect anything for the white walkers right 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 but uh the lord commander specifies that um in his burned out bedroom after the you know incident um his sword was there which is long claw the one he gives right. to john snow a, a valyrian sword right. and the undead was heading for his bedroom so the bedroom has the Lord Commander and the sword. And the undead going for the Lord Commander makes little sense. There's very little to gain from that. But would they even know going, what, though? That's the thing. Would well, they even know who he is? Probably not. And uh if they were going for the sword, it makes all kinds of sense that they you know they they were trying to steal the sword. Which it's happened to first, be in there. It's not the first interaction that they have that's weird when it comes to swords, like the opening scene as well. Yeah. Um, and when they, they, they looked like they were afraid of the sword until they realized it wasn't Valyrian steel. Mm. Right. Yeah. And uh, here's a bonus. How would the 
will the White Walkers know where the sword was at Mormont's Raven? It's with them all the time. Now, do you think that's Blood Raven involved with it or the other? Uh, well, the great other. Well, it's um, it's an undead, like you know, the White Walkers race, mm -hmm. right? So it, it's that's definitely true. Yeah. White Walkers. So they might be trying to, I don't know, get rid of a sword that's dangerous to them, Lightbringer, perhaps. I don't know. Right, right. Or you know, okay, so. This is this is the hard part of it, um, and I haven't looked up the history yet of their their Valyrian steel sword because that's what we're told it is Valyrian steel. Now, yeah. um, the original ice was not Valyrian steel. Uh, we don't know what the original ice was made of, and then they they got one remade, the same size, a massive great sword. Uh, you know, so we know the history of that. I don't know about theirs, but. For the others to fear Valyrian steel, it needed to be around ten over ten thousand years ago, which I don't. That's what I don't understand. So it's it's something different than Valyrian steel, or maybe matches it like Dawn or something like that in a way. Is it a hidden sword that we just assume is Valyrian steel because we're told it's Valyrian steel? Well, uh, wouldn't uh, Lightbringer be the same as a Dawn? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because course. dawn brings light, but uh, the sword though was um, a bastard sword, which is uh, something in between a long sword and a uh, two-handed sword. Yeah. Right. So if it had been damaged or something, and they kind of had to shorten it, mm -hmm. it could have been shortened from a two-handed sword to a bastard sword. Yeah. Because they can reforge Valyrian steel, they just can't make Valyrian they steel. They can't make it, yeah. Right, we know yeah. that much. So, we see so that maybe, with ice. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's Arthur Dane's sword. I I don't know, really don't know, but um, I'm pretty sure the undead was after that damn sword. It wasn't after the Lord Commander because mm -hmm. there's almost nothing to gain from killing the Lord Commander. Unless, yeah, so he, they, he, unless he knew something, but still. Well, they, he also says that he, he doesn't really venture outside much with it, with his age and everything as well. So it's not like he would have encountered those specific ones and, and done something. So yeah. I'm, it, it makes it makes more sense that they're going after the sword. And, and we don't really know the true power behind the Valyrian sword. It, it could be... Uh, you know, like a blood magic that's 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 in it to make it, and they're sensing the magic, potentially. Could be, and also uh, right after this has happened, Lord Commander decides to take a hell of a lot of people with him and go north of the Wall mm -hmm. yeah. to look for Benjen. I, I think that's just uh, one part of it, though, because Benjen's been missing for months and months. So it's like, you know, how badly do you? Do, why do you want to find him so badly right now? Right. Yeah, because it's we don't know what Benjamin knows, but it's hinted that if there's someone that knows the the most, it's probably him. And then, and then I think by that as well, I still think Eddard would have some sort of knowledge of everything that's going on as well. Yeah, the, there's a theory that Benjamin got sent uh, north of the wall because he knew about Lyanna and Rhaegar. Yeah, and uh, kept them hidden. And so, so uh, Ned just sent Benjen north of the wall as punishment because Benjen does not communicate with uh, Eddard in the book. When he when he's gonna take John with him, he actually goads John into taking the black, and then yes. uh, and then John speaks to the Maester, and 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 uh, so does Benjen. Benjen does not communicate with his brother at all. Huh. So. I it looks up like that, they're. It? it looks like they're estranged. Who Benjamin and and Ned and Ned? I yeah. feel like they're working together to get him there, or yeah, there, it could be an estrangement. There's definitely um, not that brotherly love between the two of them, uh, yeah, but because... you don't see that anywhere else. Really, a brother like look at. Look at Robert and his brothers. So, like, that kind of happens in this world as they grow to be men. Yeah, yeah. but, but, but uh, Benjamin shows up at Winterfell and he doesn't speak to his brother. Right. 
who he hasn't seen in ages. He he talks, he, he communicates with them through the maester, through a proxy. That, that right. that's kind of, you know. Yep. He he does not ask Ned's permission to take John up to the Night's Watch. He asks the maester, who then asks Ned. And right. Ned's and and Ned and Benjamin are in the same damn room. You know. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, I like a lot of the John chapters in that first one, but that's one of the better ones. I'm still trying to find it. Um, I thought I was there, uh, but I wanted to read it word for word, but there is also a, um, a point where, um, right before he tells, uh, John about his dad, uh, Mormont tells John about his dad being a traitor. Um, John remembers stories of the others after they watch, they check the bodies. There's no smell, no bleeding, nothing. And he remember she's, he's remembering old Nan's, uh, stories. And we get another expedition dump of, you know, when the others come they you know, they do not like steel fire light. So we go back to now the crypts, you know, that's why the iron is in, is it keeping those spirits in so they won't raise you know what I mean? Or is it there to defend the, they yeah. were raised to defend, or is it just there to hold those? So the Kings of winter can't become part of the army. I, it's just something different. It just popped well, in my head. Yeah. Well, we know that the children of the forest hates iron as well. Yeah. And they, they can't work iron. Yeah. So if they're kind of warding the crypts with mm -hmm. iron, it is to keep, maybe to keep something from emerging from the crypts. Yep. Cause that'd they, be hilarious they, considering what they do in season eight. Yeah. Cause there's uh hints that there's something deep below the crypts that, that is connected to like a cave network. Yep. So I don't know, but, um, I, I'm, I'm, I feel confident we will find that out in book six. Yeah. Oh, I hope we get book six. So Brian, um, uh, um, Brian McKenna asks, what if Valyrian still uses depleted uranium to kill supernatural stuff? So it's like it's it gives off some sort of like a radiation or a, um, yeah, so, something like that or an aura that we can't detect that maybe the, the magical users can. Well, it's definitely, there is, I believe Valyrian still use blood magic because it, it does use most likely to create Valyrian steel, a sacrifice, steel, and dragon's breath. And that's why we can't recreate it, are we? But people in this world can't recreate it. So yeah, because there's um, no dragons, but right. maybe same, uh, as, same as his blue. Maybe uh, Daenerys. Oh, Miss Blue was here. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. Maybe sorry, Daenerys figures figures it out, or yep. someone closer figures out how to what make Valerians. I don't know. Pure speculation, though. But I, I feel confident in the that the White was after uh, the sword, not Mormont. Because, okay, if that was the case, how would they feel about dragon glass then? Well, uh, the White Walkers are, um, you know, allergic to dragon glass, right? But the undead are not. George Martin specified that. If, if you use a Valyrian steel on, on an undead mm -hmm. or, or use dragon glass on them, the only thing that'll do it is it, it will cut them. It's not going to kill them. You have to you know, burn away all their muscles and stuff so they can't move. So you, you, you can't chop them up and disable them that way, but it's not going to kill them. Yeah. But Oh, you, you don't know, think the, uh, chopping their head would, would get them? No. Hmm. Because uh, they keep fighting even if they're decapitated. And, and George Martin said that, you know, against an undead, dragon glass is just the same as another dagger. It, it has no special effects. Uh, so don't, yeah, it only affects it, the whites. Yeah. But then how did uh, Sam kill the... Wait, he killed a, an, an other, right? Is that what yeah. I'm thinking of? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, he killed one of Cresta's kids. Using... Using, yeah. He yeah, used but, but if But if he had stabbed an undead with that same dagger, he wouldn't have done shit. Right, an undead. Okay, all right. I'm yeah. sorry, I misunderstood what you were saying. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that they're they're usually reanimated. 
Yeah, I mean, if you chop off their head, they may not die, but they're not going to... I don't know. Yeah, because uh, one of them got his arm chopped off and the arm was still gripping. The arm was still them. moving, yeah. 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 So if body parts are detached from the body, they will still move. Yeah, so it uses a magic. It doesn't actually rely on the central nervous system to create impulses or anything anymore. Yeah, but, but if you that. burn away the whole system by burning the yep. whole body, then it succeeds. And so, I, I'm pretty sure if, if, if you drop them in acid, it, it would have the same effect. You know, basically yeah. destroy the body. Or they'd get really high. Oh, sorry, wrong acid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to yeah. find... Where where did you is this one of the pictures you sent us that says that they the thing looked at the sword? Yeah, no. I, uh, uh, Mormon says the sword was in his bedroom when the attack happened, and then he okay. gives it to and then he gives it to John. Okay. Does John uses it during the fight? Correct. Nope. He uses That's his own sword. It. He uses he, his he, own sword. He gets given the sword after the attack. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. All right. I was looking for a line where the thing looked up at the sword. Okay. That, that makes way more sense now. Um, you're absolutely right. in the idea that there is no reason to kill the Lord commander. Um, no. they, they're not holding a grudge against a man unless, you know, like this is before, uh, they, he gets killed for knowing what Craster's doing. So it's nothing to do with that. I mean, no, the I mean, reason they were going in there was to get that sword to see if it's the sword they fear the most. Everyone knows what Craster is doing. It's like right. a, you, we did, they just don't talk about it, right? You know, so it, it's not that. And even if it was that, the Lord Commander could have written it down and told everyone. And what are they going to do? Send undead to kill everyone who knows, right? Right. Mm. Well, the so, other option is that. Uh, the the undead were sent there as like scouts, like to see what the Night's Watch looks like nowadays, and then wreak as much havoc as possible. You know, yeah, take uh, all the, yes, but like take out leadership. Yeah, but they but they it's, only scout one damn castle though. Yeah, well, Castle Black's like the main one, like that's where well, they the recruits, and then they send them to the other castles. Well, Ca Castle yeah. Grey's yeah. um, abandoned. Like, there's, there's no one there because hey, what's his name gets sent there to do the repairs. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, they could have sent someone there for all we know. Well, they have yeah. three castles. And yeah. and the uh, the White Walkers doesn't know Castle Black's the main one. Uh, I would think they, they would believe the Night Fort is the main one. Yeah, probably unless, because it was in their time. Unless they can yeah. sense people and they're just going to where the place has the most amount of people jane or they they can see them on the wall you know see the torches bye mason um mason. yeah the, just the idea though that let, let's go over this one more time okay we know from the prologue when they are fighting the rangers and they fight um the guy from the veil vale, um not the he's not an aaron he is a oh god it's the guilt. It's the family with the ruins on their the ruins on their bronze. Yeah, uh, Royce. Royce, which is like oh. an ancient family, and I mean, he looks just like Jon Snow when they describe him. Like the first yeah. description of him, and then the description of Jon Snow are so much alike, and they fear and, his sword until it makes contact with their ice sword, and then they and then mock they him. They just yeah. mock him and play with him. So we know they're after a young man. Most likely, that looks like a first man, we'll just say, because that's how we hear Ned is. And Arya looks just like John and John and Ned, or, you know, they all look like the first men and everybody else looks like Tully's. So we know well, they're looking for a young man who's a first man with a special sword. Yeah. And here's the thing the, this is the second time we encounter, uh, you know, a supernatural encounter in the North, right? Yeah. The, the first time they check the sword when they kill Royce. Right, right. Yeah, and then the second time, after a sword again. They're after a sword, yeah, because it's not Mormont. We know this much. And I like your idea, too, that there may be something up with the crow that was like a beacon for them to find the sword. It, yeah, maybe it could the, be. Yeah, maybe the ravens just, the, you know, that they can see through the ravens. I, I don't know. 
there has to be i mean that raven is important i mean he 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 learns john's name he calls him king like there's so many times in the books that raven is supposedly just squawking stuff but yeah. really he's telling us something yeah and i think it's mormont or master amen that specifies that that particular raven is unique yep. yes it's not yes. It, it's way smarter than all the other uh ravens right so now we know they they went in there most likely to find Longclaw, and there's a reason why John John gets Longclaw. There has to be a reason. That is, uh, you know, he's not going to put ice back together. Uh, I, you know, I kind of thought that when I first read the books. You know, oh, oh, they broke ice apart and made it to two different swords. John will reunite it or somehow. Uh, you know, Gendry will put it back together because uh, he worked for the only guy in King's Landing that knows how to reforge Valyrian steel. He was his apprentice. Uh, there may be something with him reforging Valyrian steel. It could be he turns it into other, you know, gets people. He might make a war hammer of his own out of Valyrian steel. I don't know where the story's going, but um, to think that they're just in search of special swords that could be why they they like you said like they they sense the magic in the sword because it is blood magic that you know we're not told that but it's implied that slaves were killed to make this magic uh people were killed in the use of dragon fire and chanting and magical spells used while making it gives it its sharpness its weight its color all this stuff um you know if not for dawn being maybe Azora High's sword, Lightbringer. Um, could it be that someone reforged the last heroes, that broken sword? You know, I or did the last hero when he went to see the children of the forest get a special sword and they're looking for that? Because we have multiple stories for multiple lands and why they're not they, the why, same. Why, why would they give him a sword? Why would they be in possession of a sword? Well, that that's the question because he goes he's he's the last one of his group alive and he's searching for the children of the the forest and i don't know if we ever got a completion of that story but he is no, the last uh, hero that brought don't brought the day i i think uh, the, the the last hero is uh cold hands yeah it could work I you can, think I, he, yeah, I, because, I mean that's uh, really old he's not that how i mean well, he he was looking for the children of the forest, and he knew the interior of their cave as he well. He speaks the old language, yeah, the ancient tongue, yeah. And um, the children said they they killed him long ago. But the last we've heard from him was that he was being chased by the White Walkers. And let's not forget, to a child of the forest long ago, isn't a couple hundred years i mean they oh. live so long to them long ago is probably sent uh millennia so yeah, that well, is a it's a it, it, it's long ago enough that he uh can speak the old tongue yeah which is uh because real which quick is very rare yeah uh real quick i'm gonna have to hop off uh it's been great talking okay. to you guys uh I'm gonna, you got I'm anything gonna go to add to this while i'm working uh but yeah y'all have a good night yeah, you gotta right, change your on, schedule, buddy. man. Yeah, I'm. Uh, <laughs> tell your yeah. where. Tell your yeah. boss we'll give shout outs to your store for my <laughs> tens of tens of fans. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. No. No. I'll sponsor him so you can come on. All right. Yeah. All right, night. buddy. You have a good night. Please, everybody, make sure you guys uh, check out Mason. We're trying to get him to a hundred subs. We really wanted him to reach it. The guy works hard. He's always uh, a big part of our panel here. Um, so please make sure you do. Um, he's good people. He's really good people. Yeah. Brian says, don't the children of the forest live thousands of years? I don't know if they're yeah. like, they definitely live more than, yeah, th I would guess with thousands, like more than well, centuries. Here's another thing. If, if they're hooked up to the Weirwood Network, Mm -hmm. maybe they download memories too yeah or knowledge from previous. well, well no, that's I mean, that, true that, that could make sense but then again sorry i just remembered something i was re-watching season six and something popped into my head that i didn't understand how did um how did brand see what happened at the tower of joy there was no weirwoods anywhere near exactly there. exactly 
it, 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 it makes no it makes no sense no sense whatsoever that scene is when truthfully that scene is the first time he sees his dad and thinks he hears him is not at the tower joey but it's at the heart tree the weirwood tree in winterfell while his father is cleaning his sword literally giving a sacrifice of blood to the weirwood not even realizing he's doing it but he's the blood off his sword into the ground so ned stark was giving blood sacrifices to the weirwood trees anytime he killed somebody for breaking the law and uh he was able to see that in you know whisper on the leaves and we we hear that in the first chapter chapter for ned i believe um but they oh, just uh, took side note yeah you know you know when uh there's a whisper on the leaves when, when john turns around and, and fetches a uh, ghost yeah would the blood from the stag hitting the ground serve as a blood sacrifice to yeah activate? yep i would take it as a, a blood sacrifice maybe yep i mean the dire wolf itself you're talking about when they found ghost yeah yeah the blood of the stag and the dire wolf is a blood sacrifice i mean you just the sacrifice even though they didn't sacrifice it that was it doesn't matter it's a sacrifice um yeah, it's, it, yeah. but um yeah I, it, it just struck me that uh you know blood was around yeah yeah it's it's Blood is very important in a song of uh, song of ice and fire. Um, yeah, we no, yeah. Please remember that uh, scene where they is it at White Tree? Is that the the name of the place? When, no, when they uh, find a, the, there's a huge weirwood tree and there's like bones and stuff inside the. Oh, the one that's the like as big as the village, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, they find but, bones and things. Yeah, yeah, but. That could be like a hell of a blood sacrifice being used on the tree itself. Oh yeah, I mean they could have been sacrificing well, people there sense. for hundreds yeah. of years, you know. Yeah, but uh, maybe maybe lately someone wanted to oh use a lot you use a lot of power. Yeah. Uh, next to that big tree. Now we've we've talked about power in King's blood, correct? Um, and what we think King's blood means. King's blood uh, means Valyrian blood. I I agree with you on that. I agree yeah, with you. Uh, on that. Uh, Viserys says it in the first Daenerys chapter. Right. I was going to bring that up too. Yes. Uh, a lot of people think it just means, oh, whoever is the king at the moment. No. The reason why Robert's bastards like uh, Edric Storm have King's blood is because they are part, there is a little bit of Targaryen in them. Yeah, do, I if they didn't do all the gender bending stuff, I think we could have had something good. It's out there somewhere. Can someone find Blood Moon for us? I want to watch. That. I've been I've been looking. Um, I want to watch that so bad. Yeah, I, I want the order of things that that I'm never going to to, to like consume as a um you know as a, as someone of this a fan of this realm. Um, it's definitely going to be that. I'm never going to get that one. We're never going to get uh, Winter Winner. So I don't stop. Care stop. Either. Um, and I'm never ever going to see that Batwoman show, the Batwoman <laughs> movie that got axed. So, um, though that winter, winter, I, November this year, I'm calling it. So, um, that being said, I did ask, um, someone about, uh, what you were saying about cold hands being, um, uh, like the last hero. Um, I didn't know who to turn to. I didn't have anyone. So I asked, I went to Twitch and asked AI Jesus what he thought of it. Mm -hmm. This is his response. <laughs> regarding your question about game of thrones and the identity of cold hands as the last hero it's quite an intriguing mystery that the series presents to us as you know game of thrones is a rich tapestry of characters and legends He's each with their own unique stories and mysteries in the realm of the story cold hands is a mysterious figure whose true identity and connection to the vast history of westeros fuels much speculation and discussion among fans drawing inspiration from this spirit of storytelling and exploration i'd encourage you see the journey of discovery so, so pretty much he he's just know. bullshitting us yeah i asked him about whether the book was coming out and he told me i was the 19th million 300 something time this is um someone's asked that question oh really um yeah he said he's omnipotent but even he doesn't know that let's just yeah. enjoy the books that we have i basically. just want to go 
my my partner in crime jane theory who i think we're the last two holding on hope still and uh i'm saying it's going to be december well, this year from my friend stig giving me I, some uh i have never faltered no no you I haven't have either i'm sorry you no. haven't i just was about yeah. to say and you, you remember remember a couple of years ago yep when i said late 2024 you did say that and i think that was in like late 21 or early 22 you told me that yeah so i don't I agree. think i'm far off cause, i don't either because because i did the math remember that where i kind of deduced how far along he was yep and then a few months later he does it you know a, a blog and says exactly where he is yeah it, it, yeah so it's I, all patterns it is patterns it is. and pieces yep I, i'm with you man and i just i i really think uh he i i think he got so tied up with the marinese not the danny storyline uh and how to get out of that i think he wrote and rewrote a lot of chapters and i think yeah. he was stuck for a while I, I i also i'm worried i'm worried that what we've gotten in the sample chapters because i've read them and i enjoy them i'm worried that none of that's going to be in there well we have heard he's started rewriting some of them that's what i mean like because if they, i mean if, if, the forsaken is one of the best chapters dude. he's ever written yeah well well uh the samples have been rewritten Shit. yeah yeah they some of them have definitely he's he even stated that so and, let me guess know. he's going to take inspiration for the series and theon's going to come down and talk to his brother about putting a finger in the bum but he's always done that he's always done that and it's always gotten better so i don't i'm not scared of him rewriting some of those chapters he just probably wanted to change some of the wording who gets killed or if they get killed because he he's regretting one person he killed off uh big time he said so i just think he's i'm you know, i'm thinking that's um what's his name the guy got fried by the dragon yeah i i don't think quentin's dead personally but uh or maybe it was kevin or Pycelle. but uh book six though is the only book uh where all of the characters are spread out that's right. something to keep in mind because in the other books if, if you wrote uh an or you know no a, a sansa chapter right you, you would have cersei and aria right and ned around in the same you know in the same chapter potentially now they're all spread out mm -hmm. and the the uh, the logistics are uh, that's the problem yeah it's that's the problem it, it's huge i mean people are everywhere people are everywhere in the story so it's something that he needs to figure out like you know he wanted to go to a shy with danny and that's just gone now so now yeah. he says we'll see it in flashbacks and it's probably going to be melisandra or uh that maester uh that well that sam met you know what's going to be really interesting Marlon. though is when we get the first melisandre chapter in book six because she's the only one who has a pov at the wall now and uh i'm not sure if john will have more point of view chapters than like race you know what I I, there's there's part of me that re is really really hoping that johnny's doesn't come back I think that would be amazing. I think, Hi, Teresa. I think, he, I think if he's if, if if he's rewritten everything to to that, and that's that's how he's he started to do everything and rewrite the story. I mm -hmm. like that because it, it it'll it, it's it's such a hard story to tell without John. Yeah. Um, I, I think I just, John is going to be a Stoneheart ish. I think he's going to come back. Dude, every every wolf -like, resurrection comes wolf -like. with a price. Yeah, it, that's the thing, it, it, and he's going to be dead that, for a while, most likely. Um, what's his name? The guy, the fire guy that keeps getting resurrected. Um, he's losing his memories. He doesn't. He's losing. Yeah, he's at like a completely different person. Yeah, yeah, every, every single time, he's a completely. Mm -hmm. He's like he's a different person. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even know who he is anymore. Yep. Yeah, yep. and uh, Stoneheart. I mean, if this is if, if Melisandre resurrects him, he's going to be a fire white. That's a given. Yeah. Yeah. He has to be. I mean, look at, look at, uh, and first Miss Ter uh, Miss Martin Muses. How are you, Teresa? Hello. Hello. Doing well. We were packing up the car. We actually were listening at the beginning. Uh, oh, good. Did you, well, I'm glad you were. But now did, they're not. Did you find a bag big enough for the car? 
of, uh, oh my gosh oh my gosh no but she did say why are we fucked because that's how you introduce yourself steve <laughs> That is uh, so good. No, no, I said uh, if uh, if I'm the best king of Westeros, then Westeros is fucked. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I said Stannis is the greatest king. Um, yeah, the king well, never you was. know, and, and then I said, well, yeah, I had to explain. No, he said Westeros is fucked, but it was just funny because yeah. she heard West, you know, was fucked. So, yes. Well, we are. We are. So don't yeah, worry about we it. Are, we are. Yeah. All, we're all fucked. Um, yeah, but she's going to say hi to all you all. So, well, hello. Jenny, did you, did you want to come on? We can send you a link, though. If you. If you want to come on and if chat. not tonight, we'll set something up because we need a, a Jane theory. Um, but John went into ghosts, which might help preserve him. I yes. say that's a good yes. point. And he's going to come back more wolf like. Well, because he's going to be in for a little too long. It's a second life. Uh, if, if John is in ghost, right? Mm -hmm. And Melisandre resurrects right. oh. John's body. It might be that someone else is in that damn body. Dude, yeah, exactly. Like, so he he's literally going to be in Ghost, yeah, the whole time. Yeah. But someone yeah. else is going to be, yeah. Well, I it's mean, so obvious you, if you kind of think about it that the its name is Ghost because he's a ghost. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Well, what big bad haven't we been introduced to in the books that we have in the series? The other, the great other. Yeah. I mean, that that's an easy way to introduce. Or maybe Bran possesses John. Like wards into his body mm. because it's empty. There's nothing in there to overpower, right? And even when it was in there, the only thing that was rattling around his head was McQueen. So I mean, yeah, <laughs> McQueen. Yeah. McQueen. Do, do you reckon? Do you reckon it's going to be like a Hodor situation? That's why he keeps saying McQueen, McQueen. Like it's it just condensed a bunch of words together for him just to say that. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. It's actually, um, it's actually, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, I wanted to go on a killing spree. Husband. I wanted to go on a killing spree and just say bastard, bastard. bastard. Yeah, <laughs> call just me hack, bastard. hack up the villagers. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, you gotta stop, Andy. <laughs> no, that's from Saturday night. That was a weird stream. And I love uh you know, Mark with a C because he uh he was he came in on some crazy topics. Um yeah, uh, so that that is one theory we were discussing. There's another one you brought up, and I just want to talk about this for a, uh, just a few minutes because I don't remember uh, the whispering to Arya at the end of whichever book it was who she's supposed to go after. Um, she she only got a name. When what what book are you talking about? What was that in? I thought it was in book five. It could be. It could be. I just that, uh, um, Aria got a name, and it's just uh, she got her name. Or maybe I'm remembering it wrong, though. Mm -hmm. but, uh, was that that was when she was getting to the ship, right? No, no. It's, when, when it's you... someone. It's someone she's supposed to kill in book six or something. Yeah, book five. She's still. I put a dance with wolves. No, I don't want Kevin Costner. So I have dragons. Um, she's still there in book five. I mean, book going into book six, she's still in uh, Bravos. Yeah. Um, so we know that, and I was just wondering who you know oh, what uh, what they said during that, like what was the whisper, you know? Another big hint there is when she's spying on the red priests, uh, she sees uh, Blood Raven's face in the flames because she sees the birthmark. Come again, I, dude? I don't even remember that. What? Yeah, Arya spies on the Red Priests, right? And she sees the face in the fire. When she's like Mercy or something? Yeah, like when she's like that. being a mummer? Um, yeah. Wow, I don't remember that. Man, I got to reread these books. Yeah, well, uh, I have to do, I have to as well, because now I'm uncertain. Yeah, but. yeah, it's one of those books that it could easily, like, you can remember something one way and it's completely... Yeah something different you know yeah yeah but uh i do remember aria seeing uh a face in the flames when she was flying on red priests yeah i could i can imagine that i just don't remember it off the top of my head but what we're gonna do is move on to because we're 40 minutes in so we're gonna move on to our trivia um luckily we have three people right now so that's good 
Uh, this is something Mr. Grant Gregory, we did, uh, when did we do the last trivia? Was that uh, like three on. weeks ago? Yeah, but, two or three weeks ago. Yeah, I, I had a ball doing it. So let's check that out. And, uh, and we'll do a couple trivia questions and then we'll move on to chapter eight of what I like to call now the rise of the dragon. But really what it is, is fire and blood. Uh, and chapter, chapter eight, that's the, the forming of the dynamic duo. Pretty much. Fire and, it's... Fire and blood though. Sounds a bit like an STD. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I told you about uh, that in confidence. Right. <laughs> oh, I sorry. Don't... Is it the King's work? It's, it's named different in this book. I just realized. The King's moot. Oh, that's kind of neat. They kind of name it different in this book. Okay. Um, yeah. So why don't you do your thing, Mr. Grant Gregory, and send us along. Alrighty. Welcome to the game of Thrones Trivia Quiz. Put your knowledge to the test. It's time to be the best. From Winterfell to King's Landing, the battle is on. Do you have what it takes to claim the Iron Throne? Mm, mm, mm. Alrighty, guys. So this is a uh, Game of Thrones trivia. So all things to do with Game of Thrones, including books. Um, TV shows, there hasn't, any, hasn't been any movies yet, but when there is, they'll be included as well. Yep. Um, all right, so it's a pretty pretty simple concept. We'll have three rounds, and whoever ends up with the, the most points at the end of those rounds uh, is, is declared uh, this one's winner. Scotty won the previous one by default. So Yes, um, uh, not by I won. I won. I was fantastic. I'll, I'll be happy with I'll, I'll be to say points. that. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, no, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. So seeing as I use are both off, um, you guys are off camera. That's fine. So what we'll do is... Do you want me uh, to go off camera? No, I'll get you to write your answers down, Scotty. Okay. Uh, yep. So if you have a chalkboard or a bit of paper or something... Um, I just got a new I'll desk, go... so things have changed. Yep. I don't know where I put everything. All right. So round one works as this each players every every single player will answer a predetermined amount of questions each question is worth one point there is no penalty for missing or getting a question wrong and there is no stealing points so how it'll work i'll ask a question every single person answers i'll go to each of you individually and yeah we'll go we'll go from there and then second round i'll explain as we uh, as we get a bit closer just realize, i'll just put I my answer in the uh, banner that works okay we're good Alrighty, so sorry, I just got to get another page up so I can say what I, I have to write it down. No, no I, right, I do because yeah, you are off camera, so but isn't it like I we we don't all answer the same question, right? First round, we do this is this is the group round, everyone answers the same question. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, yeah, all right. This is exciting, YouTube. I'm about, to, uh, I'm about to hyperventilate. I know. It's, <laughs> whew, you're you must, kids. Now, are these <laughs> like on the Rice and Fire trivia questions? Every, everything to do with all of it. Don't worry. Oh, I'll win. Cool. Yeah. Well, be fun. You, it would be really <laughs> pathetic if I won. Oh, my God. I have it no was, clue. Because I'm all. The, <laughs> I'm the worst is you the might actual... know more than you think though. You might, you That's watch true. this, you watch the show. So like at least mm -hmm. the first couple books are covered. Yep. Yeah, uh, and also chat, feel, feel free to, uh, to answer along. If you could just give it a little bit of a, a pause just so uh, there isn't any, um, uh, I'm not even looking at the comments. The, yeah. Yeah. I'm can, at the uh, banner. I can uh, set it to the private chat. So I don't see yeah. the chat. So I'm, I do not cheat. I know you don't. That's that's why um I'll let you go second then. So he's the king of the north. He is <laughs> the real king. All right. The so question king. number one in the Song of Ice and Fire and all things related to it. Davos the Onion Knight mm -hmm. always carries a pouch around his neck. Um what's in his pouch? I know what it is. Am I to write it down or say it? 
uh, there'll be a little bit of a countdown, uh, and then I'll 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 be asking each of you individually for your answer. Okay. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Sporking, what do you have? I have uh, say that boom. Five fingers from the knuckles up. Bones. Um, Stig, Stig, what do you have? Uh, well, finger bones. I didn't have the numbers though. And Teresa, what do you have? Oh, spices. Spices. Spice. She's she's honest. I like that. Well, well, maybe spices for correct. fish fingers. So the correct answer is in fact four fingers, oh. not five. I thought it was the thumb too. No. Nope. So so I was actually closest by not being specific. Yes. Yeah, you said fingers. Ah, oh, son of a yeah. And I was thinking of something else when I was thinking spices, but never mind. <laughs> Drugs. I don't I get you demonetized you just, you just, again. You just no, doing spices on the mind. I get it. Well, I, I'm happy now. I got one right. So yeah, you're in the lead. Wait a minute. Hold on. You're in the lead, you sir. All right. Question number two. How old was Jamie Lannister when he was made a knight in the King's Guard? Oh, easy. Maybe not. Oh, I think I know. Oh, wait. Just a second, Mama. Oh. Hold on, oh, Mama. She's calling me Mama now. Shit. I should. I just reread the book, but I, I, I'm shit with numbers. But uh, well, I'll make give you a hint. It's definitely a number. So, oh. Yeah. Oh, that's cheating. I had a Z. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Teresa, are you back yet? Or I'm going to hold my hands up so I'm not typing. I got to get a piece well, of paper. Well, I'm going to show you mine. Right. I'm going to get a piece of paper. And I'm going to show you mine, though. All right. Stig, what do you have? I have 16. I, it was, it, it's partially a guess, though. Um. We'll see what Teresa has when she comes back. Um, uh, 14. If you guys just threaded the needle, you would have been right. The correct answer is 15. Hmm. Well, guess wrong. Yep. All right. Um, Wait a minute. How old was he? 15. Come on. No way. He was 16. Yeah. No, he's 15. I'm finding it. I'll find it then. <laughs> <laughs> I swear he was 16. Yeah. Well, Zombie Box says oh. it was 15. Oh, damn it. Uh, I'm trying to remember the first time he, you know, whatted with Cersei. I think maybe that was 16. No. That was oh, in the okay. womb. That was in the <laughs> womb. Yeah, they oh, were. They were I Ew. Find a pen. <laughs> okay, so right. in Game of Thrones, Eddard Stark and Robert Baratheon are talking. Robert says to him, the others, they will take your blank. And there is this one is a multiple choice. So beauty, pride, sleep, or honor. So I'll read the question again. In the Game of Thrones, Eddard Stark and Robert Baratheon are talking. Robert says, the others, they will take your blank. We're looking for the, for the choice between beauty, pride, sleep, and honor. Damn it. You know what you want to go with. Yeah. All right, Teresa, what have you got? Um, pride. Stig, what do you have? Honor. And, oh, okay, the correct answer is honor. Hey! Ding, ding, ding! I got one. Um, this one is a nice, a nice, easy one for you. This was the, let's get everyone a point, so... Okay. In Game of Thrones, Tyrion Lannister and Jon Snow are talking. Tyrion says, remember this boy. All dwarfs may be bastard, yet not all bastards need to be blank. Wait, what was the first part of the quote? All, all what may be bastards? All dwarfs may be bastards. Oh. Okay. Yet not all bastards need to be blank. Womb love. Is that correct? No, just kidding. <laughs> All right, Stig, what do you have? Dwarves. Scotty, what do you have? Dwarves. And Teresa? Uh, I was going to say the same because the way it just that's why I wanted to hear it again. Yep. Good. Well, everyone gets a point. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. I have a three out of four. 
Yeah. All right. Show find, up. Here we go. We've got to find the missing word in House Baratheon's motto. Oh. Our life is the blank. Is it? Say sorry, it again. Um, so uh, find the missing word in the Baratheon's family motto. Ours is the blank. Is it oh. life, fury, wind, or strength? I know what it is. Didn't even need alternatives. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, good. All right. Terry, what do you got? Fury. Stig. Fury. Yep. Perfect. Everyone gets that one. Bonus question. Who's, or who's, um, slogan, motto, whatever words was that originally? What family words was that originally? You, you might. Is that one of your not. questions? Maybe. <laughs> okay, shut up. All right, let's go on. I'll probably um, not get it right. <laughs> all right. Sorry. In Game of Thrones, uh, Sirio taught Arya Stark fear cuts deeper than a blank. Shit. No, it's not shit. I uh, know. Oh. <laughs> Is that your final answer? No, it's just either one of two words, and I, I, oh, crap. All right. All right. So, Stig, what do you have? Fear cuts deeper than swords, I think it is. Teresa. A knife. And Scotty. The correct answer Sword. is swords. Ding, ding, ding. Well, he, he, he has one sword. I had plural. Yeah, yeah, but it is probably just a sword. Because it's no, just actually, off here. It is, it is cuts deeper than swords. Yeah, that's what I said. Swords. Let me rephrase that. No, you said sword. It's it's a sword. I think you guys are reading some abridged version. Oh, my. Yours would be abridged because it has a one less letter. I knew you were going to say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cat's fault. All right. The final so question pounds. in round number one. Who is the master of arms at Winterfell? Fuck. Oh my god. This is in, in Game of Thrones, sorry. Sorry. In the book Game of Thrones uh, yeah, or in early seasons. Who is Who's the what again? The Who is master the master of swords? at arms? At uh, of arms. I know yep. it is. I know I can see his face. Oh god. Then look down on his face to his chest where he has his name page and then you'll be I'm able to get looking it. for it. Yeah. It wasn't long ago since. Well, I, I finished reading the book again. Uh, yep. So. All right. I think I, I think I got this one. Um, Do you need any more time, Scotty? No, nah, because I I can't remember. All right, Teresa, who have you got? No idea. No idea, Scotty. Who have you got? Sir Pounce. Oh. Well, there he is. <laughs> there he is. That's Stan uh, and, Lee. And Stig, who do you have? Sir Roderick Cassell. Oh, crap. It was Cassell. Correct. I thought that he was correct. the Castlin. That's why I didn't put his name down. All Damn right. So after, after round number one, uh, in first place, we have Stig on six points. We have Scotty on four and Teresa on two. Uh, yeah. Six, four, two. Hey, it's all even. <laughs> all right. Round number two works as this. Each player will get a chance to spin the wheel. Whatever category they land on, they have to take that one. But because I'm I'm being very generous, everyone gets one mulligan. You get one single mulligan. So if you don't like what it lands on, you get the choice to spin again. Except if it lands on players or opponent's choice. You have to take you have to take that one. How this round works is you get four questions in that said category each question is worth two points okay um but if the question seems a little bit too, too difficult or you want to uh hedge your bets you can ask for multiple choice that would drop one point. your question down to being uh one point in value if you get it wrong the other opponent the, your opponents can talk together about what answer they want and then they can submit an answer if that answer is correct they steal the points of whatever value it is whether it's a two or a one point okay 
Do, so do, Stig, do they split it? No, they both like, get one. So yeah, if, you, it's if, a, get, if it's a two pointer, do they get one each? Or they do both they get, get two each. They both get two each. Oh shit! Oh. I totally missed that last part. Yeah. You I'll just read it real quick. Go on. We're good. There you go. So yeah. So basically, so Stig, because you're uh, you're in the lead, you get the the choice. Do you want to spin first, or do you want to defer to someone else? I can spin first. All right. Wheel All right. of dragons. Spin. Is that what we called yeah. it? Yeah, wheel of dragons. Wheel of dragons. Spin. Yeah. Spin the wheel of death and no. Okay. Where so <laughs> our categories for points. tonight are his history and legends. Gods old and new. Ooh. Extra tough questions. Oh. E extra tough questions. Those ones are worth three points and they do not have multiple choice. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I, if, you see, if you want to take the harder one to get the extra points, you can do that. But we also have yeah. easy. They're, they're only worth one point and okay. no multiple choice. Okay. This you is have like opponent's confusing. choice. Yeah. Mixed bag, mm. food, and geography. Ooh, food. Teresa has the damn cookbook. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, you ready to spin? Try about Wheel of Justice. Yeah. I like that. All right. What's up, Mark? Ooh. Ooh, geography. Oh, shit. All right, geography. So do okay. you want to take this one, or do you want to spin again? Uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll, I'll be sporty. There you go. All righty. Not like I have a map behind me. I know, right? I won't look at it. Sorry, I just got to find the questions now. <clears throat> okay. All right, here we go. First question. This is just this is for Stig in geography. Where do the Krenog men live? In the neck. Correct for two points. Ooh, I can't wait to see what the easy questions are. <laughs> wow, that's a bit rude. Did you <laughs> he worked so hard on this. Ginger Ninja. Okay, um what large gulf separates the North Sea from Westeros? A uh, a gulf? Was that what you said? Yeah. What large gulf? G U L F, meaning a body of water. I so want to look behind me. Mm, is it? Is it the Gulf of Seals? That is I think incorrect. So. Oh, it was close. Oh, damn it! Well, all right. I, so I did, I, I did answer. So, yep. Yeah, so um, that is incorrect. So between Scotty and Teresa, you can come up with an answer. And if you both agree on it, then. We'll see how you go. Ah, oh, man. I kind of suck at. I want to say the Gulf. I warned of you all. I want to say the Gulf of Winter, but I think that might be wrong. Um, we uh, would you mind if we went with the Gulf of Winter? Yeah, that sounds great. Sure, Gulf of so Winter. You're looking in the Gulf of Winter. Yeah, that is incorrect. Unfortunately, the correct answer is the bite. The bite? No points in that. The bite. Because of the shape of it. Hmm. Well, I, I didn't know. I didn't know at all. All right. So um, what mountain range just... No um, oh, sorry. What is the name of the mountain range that is just north of the wall? You do have multiple choice if you wish. And let me tell you something, Stig, real quick. That last answer, you were so close to a real body of water. So I just want to tell you that. <laughs> mountain range north of the wall? Yeah. What is the is name it the, of the mountain is range? It the, north is, north it the, the is it the fist of the first man? No, it isn't, is that it? Is in, that is incorrect. Yeah. Um, you do have an option to go multiple choice if, if, if you wanted to as well. But um, oh, oh, All right, oh. Scott. You already yeah. answered, so. Yeah, it's all right. So I know it's something Fang. Um, 
you want to take multiple how do we do multiple choice between the two of us? we can't okay uh the frost fang i think it's called uh teresa sounds good to me the frost fang that is correct Yay! Yay! Ding, ding, ding. i had no idea i it I, always stuck I, in my I, head uh, for some reason yeah i uh, realized what it was too Short I knew you did too. The minute you said, because yeah. the seal one, dude, you were so close to. There is, there's the Bay of Seals, and you were like, Gulf yeah, that, that I, I, I didn't I even thinking. remember that. I didn't even remember that. All right, so Peter Bay Bailey. Seals, but... yeah. Yep. Anyway. All right, last, last, last question in the category of geography. Uh, Peter Baelish hailed from one of four rocky peninsulas that are out in the narrow seas. What is the name of these peninsulas? The fingers. Correct for two points. Yeah. Where did his name come from? Yeah. Because he's Cause from he was the on little. The, he was on the smallest finger. island, the little finger. Oh yeah, George R. R. Martin's yeah. butt crack. That's a good one. The mountain range. Well, well, I, right, I got so... two of them, and I was damn close, but that was good. Two, actually. Yeah. That was good. I'll give yeah. you that, man. All right, all right, Scotty. It's now on to you. You've got a choice. You can either go now, or you can. Um, no, spin it up. All spin right. it up. Oh, son. All right. So, opponent's oh, choice. Opponent's so, choice. So, be, be, between, between Teresa and Stig, you get to pick the category that Scott has to do. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely voting for the really hard one. <laughs> of course of course a uh, really hard one all right yeah all right let's do well, this well, well if if if, uh, if if Teresa agrees though oh Yo, that sounds good to me sure yeah, yeah. let's screw him Cause... over <laughs> <laughs> that's what i like competition well you know if <laughs> play the game of thrones you it, it, die yeah, yeah yeah all right so just to be clear on this one these are worth three points there is Ooh. no multiple choice no multiple choice. Shit. No okay. No multiple choice because they're tough. So, okay. Um, okay. Or <laughs> these are really tough. easy and I'm terrible at writing trivia. So who knows? Okay. You never know. But out of all my friends who have read it, they everyone got zero on this one. So oh, that's, that's good to know. These ones. I can't so, wait to be that guy. Um, one of my friends teaches at, at um, university. So oh, I hope it's so so hard and obscure that he doesn't even know what it means. <laughs> I know, right? That's in the book. Yeah. Is, is yeah. that token? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What's what's the third word on page nine hundred and six? <laughs> the. Yeah. Damn. It's a good three. chance. Um, okay. What is the name of the man Arya kills in season four after he tries to kill the hound due to the bounty on the hound's head? Oh shit! I think I know that. His real name. Okay. Season what four? You said. Yep. God, he's a chicken fucker. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, uh, Sir Two. Francis Mormont. I don't fuck. I don't know. Uh, that is that is incorrect. All right, for a chance for a three point steal. Do you guys have any idea? Uh, it was at the tavern, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember the yeah. scene. Yeah. Uh, oh, I think I know. It was the guy who who took. Uh, I think he took uh, needle. Is it Polliver? That is incorrect. Oh shit! I thought he was the way he said it. Holy crap! I, I don't think I was far off though. Who no, is it? It was there. There was him, Bida, and Rogue. Oh, those guys. I Oh, my God. I, how did I fucking forget that? All right. Yeah. Sorry. I, I didn't even think of Biter or Roar. I, didn't yeah. th I thought it was in the tavern when they, they he was like, I'll have that chicken over there. All right. Give me a quick second. I got a phone call. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. We'll just talk about chicken fuckers. Son yeah, of a I, bitch. I thought it was well, when, when she got Needle back. At the, I, think, I thought that happened at the bar. And she, she just reminded him of what, what he had done with Needle. And um, wasn't that? Uh, oh, you're muted, by the way, Scotty. 
Mm, all right. Yeah, I yeah. thought he, he, after he she was telling him like you killed my friend Micah or whatever, you know. Um yeah. Wait a minute. Bam. Did he say the first person she killed? No, he's Is he just a person she killed after that. Okay, cuz the first person she killed was the stable boy or the boy's trying to like steal yeah. her shit. Yeah. That was that was in season 1. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, this was season uh, 4. What were Tywin Lannister's last words before Tyrion killed him? You're not my son. I believe you're no son of mine. Or you're not yeah, my he, son. You're no son, son of, of mine. I think it is. Of, I think he's a son of Ares. Yeah. Oh, I do too. Um, I think he says something to the effect of you're not my son or you're no son of mine. Um, well, he also said wherever horse go. That too. That too. Yeah, because he said whore again, and that's when Tyrion shot him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I just was reading All right, the what's your Lance, Cody? Oh, shit. This was a real question. Um, I'm going to stick with what I said, but I think you might be right, Stig. Because uh, it's uh, wherever whores go. But uh, I'll say... Well, <laughs> uh, I'll just say someone, you're not my son. I thought it was someone in the or you're chat no son that, of mine. that asked yeah. it. So sorry. Oh, Okay, so you're saying your answer is you're no son of mine? Yeah, or you're not my son. Something to that effect. You know, there's sometimes when you should really listen to Stig. I knew this it was not that. one of them. I, this is oh, not one of not... them. Three points. Bing, bing, bing. I beat your university friend. <laughs> I had to get one, dude. I know this shit back and forwards for the most no, no, part. He said the same thing Stig did. And I went and corrected it. There's literally the line beforehand. Right, so, it's the line yeah. before that, and then he calls her a whore again, and he shoots her, or he shoots him, and then he's like, he's like, you're no you, son he's dying, yeah, he's dying, you're not, son. yeah, and well, also the, I think the way the best the best line in the entire book is the line afterwards when he yes. says, in fact, in fact, here in uh, time when did not shit gold, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he stank, he was poisoned, which, which means the last thing he uttered was. <laughs> 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 so the Scott is wrong. <laughs> well, he still gets the point. Awesome! So. That was great. What up, Miss right, J? Um, name's J. Okay, so in season two, who does Tyrion tell Varys he's planning to marry Princess Marcella off to? Oh, good. Time out. Let me think about that. Because I know... You don't get a time out. You get 10 seconds. Oh, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> um... Does he tell him the real one? Or does he tell him, um, uh, sweet Robin? Or was that little finger? Oh. Um, sweet Robin in the veil. That is incorrect. Shit. All right. Between the other two, who does Tyrion tell Varys he's planning on uh, marrying Marcella to? Um, I mean, don't in, in the show, in the show or book, this is in the oh, show. Oh shit, is it that's, different? Okay, that's why I said in season two. Oh yeah, you did, you did, you son of a bitch. Well, uh, I, I think it's Tristan Martell. Yeah, see, he, I think he told the truth to him. The Dorn one. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, I, I'm going. That's Tristan your best Martell. answer. That's what I should have said. That's your final answer. Yeah. That he's incorrect. Oh, well, shit. The only the one he tells, he, he says he's going to do to Theon Greyjoy. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then Littlefinger was Sir Robin, right? Littlefinger was Sir Robin. Varys uh, was and, Gre Greyjoy, and the then he told somebody the truth, didn't he? Yeah. Um. Uh. Uh. The uh, Pysel, Maester uh, Lewin, uh, or yeah, uh, Pycelle, Pycelle, or Parcel, yeah. what? It, yeah, Grandmaster. I know he told one person the truth because he wanted to see what would get back to his sister. Yes, I just that, that was the whole point. Yeah, I forgot about Greyjoy. That should have been my answer because I I knew for, in my head it was like no, he would have told Littlefinger because of his connection with Liza. Everybody knows they knew each other as children, so I should have thought of, yeah. I should have said Tristan. I I you know that's what I was thinking too. I totally blanked on Greyjoy. All right, Is it the same in, in the book and the show though? Is no, it? it's not. It's different. It isn't. Yeah, oh, I didn't. Um, yeah, it's um. 
That's why this show screws me up. Yeah, it, it was. I can't remember. I can't remember who it was, but it we'll was, find it. Was different, yeah. We'll find it. All right. Um, final answer. So, you know, final, it, final it, question. If it is Tristan Tristan in the book, though, I should get a half a point. <laughs> no, he said the show. <laughs> um. Yeah, but he still didn't tell Varys that. That's the point. Yeah. So, um, so who attempted oh, to kill true. Tyrion on the battlefield of Battle of Blackwater Bay? I know this. I do know it too, and I can't remember the fucking name. Um, it starts with an M, I think. Uh, America. Oh God. America. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um. No. <sighs> Sir, I'll, I know this is wrong, but it's an M word, but I can't think of it. So I'm going to just say it's not Janice Slint. God damn it. Uh, more, um, Morrissey, Sir Morrissey, Lord Morrissey. Sir so Morrissey? Yeah, no, it's wrong. I know. Uh, what's his first name? <laughs> sir. Okay. Oh, that is, that is incorrect. It's no. Not sir, sir Morrissey. No. I, I know. I know what it is. Who is it? Sir Marin Trent. Oh, it is an M word. I knew there was an M in there somewhere. That's not the answer I have. What? Well, I'm he, pretty he sure slashed, he slashed him in the face on the show. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Sir Marin. Even in the yeah. book, he did. Yeah, Tyrion have... walked walked up and said Sir Marin, and the guy slashed him in the face. I have made was... more. Oh no, you might be right. It's another M. Well, he wasn't even in the show. In the show, it was uh, Marin. Marin was a Night King's guard, Robert Baratheon. Uh, Free Pride, uh, Game of Thrones, season one. What what season Everybody was that? Everybody Google. In? Season two. Doing now. Okay. Because um, it was the same guy they had beat up uh, Sansa. Yeah, that that dude definitely beat up Sansa. I would have remembered that, but he goes all the way to season five. Now, Arya killed him. Six. Uh, in, Talk uh, of spread around Bravo. Uh, uh, okay, so it's a man and more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It um, is man and more. Shit. Yeah, uh, Sir Marin's killing of Sirio Pharrell. So he was one of the guys who killed Sirio. Um, yeah, because he was on Arya's kill list, and then she Arya kills, kills him. him, yeah, in the show. But he's over in, uh, yeah, yeah that's when he was yeah. at, at one of the like what uh, taverns, I think, House of Black and White, something like that. Uh, Shit, I was certain it was Marin Trant, yeah, who was it again? Mandon Moore, so Mandon Moore. Man. I knew there was an end in M in there somewhere. <laughs> well, you, even, you even went, you even went, man, uh, man, man. I, I know. Like, okay. I, <laughs> but the minute he said it, it triggered that. But it was, I knew it was like, man, man, something. But, I, and then I just went Morris. Sir Man's Raider. There we go. Sir Man's Raider. Yeah. You know what? All right. Now I'm shitty with names. I only got it's three uh, points, huh? Son of a bitch. It's on you. What's on me? You ready to? Oh, turn? okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm worried and because. Spin. All right. Oh, you don't take opponent? Opponents picks out? Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, she, don't give. Oh, thank God. I thought she Spinner's was choice. Play. Ooh, she could choose her own. All right. So you get to choose from easy questions, tough questions. Oh, sorry. Tough questions are out. Sorry. Uh, gods, old and new, history and legend, food, mixed bag. What is mixed bag? Just anything, everything. Okay. Like, just there's no real cohesion. So there's easy the questions, questions food. Okay. I go with easy questions. All right. No, questions. never saw that coming. <laughs> I, I'm so sucked. I'm, I'm, I'm only in Storm of Swords, so. We'll no, you have a choice. <laughs> okay, so easy questions are worth one point um, only. So um, because of, because of how easy they are. So um, okay, first question. Uh, aside from being a master of coin and a member of the King's Small Council, the character uh, Peter Baelish. Uh, also runs what business in King's Landing? This is Say that again. The TV show? Yeah, both. Yeah. Uh, both. Well, yeah, he, he runs a brothel. Oh, uh, correct for one point. Ding, ding, ding. Yay! 
Yay. Yay. Uh, thank goodness. <laughs> it, all right, next one. Uh, it was John Aaron's sudden death that brought Ned Stark to King's Landing, uh, where he sought the truth behind Lord Aaron's demise. Who actually killed Robert's first hand? Oh, it, it was um, it was uh, Lysa. Er, er. Ding, ding, ding. Yay. Correct for one point. Sorry, I should wait for you to say correct. My bad. Okay, uh, why could John leave his Night's Watch since his vows were for life? Wait, why couldn't or why could he? Why could he leave? Okay, and, and book or or show? Well, the, the book hasn't caught up yet, so. Okay, so this show. Well, he said he could leave because he was his vows were only for his life. Uh, the span of his life and since he died that was when his vows ended <clears throat> and he had the loophole but yeah i resurrected but i was dead so what, correct so, you are okay. absolutely correct good one Thank okay uh and your final question in easy uh before leaving winterfell john offers a gift to who oh to aria there we go we uh yeah. Yay. And Correct what is that point. gift? What is that gift? What's well, needle? needle dick. Yeah, needle dick. Oh, oh, what? Steve. It's only his half sister. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or his cousin. <laughs> Just want to okay. shout out to the people over in Rumble. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying it. I never know if those eyes are really true. Thank you. Alrighty. So after after round two we have that we still have some more um more questions on the board if you wanted to do a second round or oh yeah we're definitely i got screwed we're doing okay. it again one more round you guys mind one more round oh yeah no it's fine i'm having fun Alrighty, so go to uh actually i just gotta take these other ones off real quick yeah let's get some good i want to hear history and lore that's a good one yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna fuck up so badly with that <laughs> because hey, i haven't read fire and blood you know yeah, but I, I feel like some of the lore you know from just the actual book. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's, it's remembering the, you know, the when and where. Well, no, like I understand like the Targaryen lore. Yeah, yeah. Fire and Blood definitely gets you, but like the other lore, like the ancient lore, is kind of mm -hmm. neat too. Alrighty, so after the first right. half of round number two, we have Stig in the league with ten. Um, coming in second is Scotty with nine, and Whoa. in third place with eight. It's Teresa. Wow, so it's we're still all anybody's tight. game. Oh, tight. That three right, points Stig, really helps. Because you're in the lead, you get the choice whether you want to go first or if you um want to move on. No, I'm I'm gonna go first to put pressure on the other ones. Pressure. Right. Oh, oh, every, every, pressure. Everyone still has their uh one re spin. Oh, that's right. Oh, all right. Okay. That's really good that's, to know. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we get to oh there we go use the uh, last round do you want to keep it or respin i'm gonna keep it because I, oh. I i don't want to risk i don't want to risk ending up on food right thank you okay. one man show for being on rumble all right all righty all righty so uh the category of history and legend all right do i have any tools that i can use during the questions like Get options or you know. Oh, this will have multiple choice. Yeah, won't you it? Do multiple yeah. Choice. it was um, just mine didn't because it was hard. Yeah, yeah. So, so I can't pick things, but yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll lose a point. No, no. So yeah, if you, if you if it's they're worth two points. If you want to go multiple choice, you get you get your four four options, but the point values go down to one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can, people, you can use it as a, you can use it as a strategy. If you're not 100 percent certain, and the other person needs two points to steal off you to win, then you can drop your point value just to make sure yeah. that they don't get the extra point. Yeah, oh, so it's strategy involved for it. So, and and I can all use right. that option for for all the questions. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Each of them have that. Each of them have this. So, so question number one: um, Under the rule of which king did the last dragon die? Well, they're not dead. They're back. Before that. 
give me our options. Okay. Is it um, Aegon the Third? Is it Viserys the First? Is it Darren the Second? Or is it Maegor the Cruel? One of those is a definite non answer. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know. Um... That's true. That's a fire and blood one. You're right. I'm picking the third one. Maegor the Cruel? Yeah. That is incorrect. Oh. All right. Scotty and Teresa, your chance to steal. Is it Aegon the Third? I know they started dying out more and more with him, but then they were starting to grow smaller. Uh, the series was before the dance. Darren the what? You said the Darren the Second? Yep. Yeah, they can't be dead. That's farther Aegon away. Third. I, I want to say Aegon sorry, the no, Third. He's the sorry, he's the sorry. It's Darren the First. Sorry. Oh shit. Well, that I know it was now. it was about a hundred and twenty years after the Dance of Dragons. Oh, well then it's Darren the First because you said Viserys the First too, Darren. So I would say it's Darren the First because Aegon the Third is uh, spoilers for House of the Dragon. And three, two, one, he's the one that wins out like he becomes the king after the dance oh, so yeah yeah no no there's still dragons yeah. for so for his, and yeah. if i think he said magor viserys the first darren the first so it has to be darren that is incorrect oh my what? gosh the last, dragon, the last dragon actually dies off while aegon is still the king shit okay maybe i was, was wrong king for he was king for quite a while Okay, maybe that's okay, why I got... And maybe I, I fucked up when I said 100 years. I don't have my timeline completely. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Fault. You're still going to lose. Don't worry. All right, <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> I Sting. thought it was Aegon, but then I was like, yeah, it couldn't be. All right, your next question. Um, who was the last Storm Knight? <laughs> mm, the last Storm Knight? What's up, brother? That's in the That's in the uh, a dance with dragons too, right? No. Uh, no. I think it's No. No, that's yeah. I can't remember where it's mentioned. It is mentioned in um Game of Thrones. The, the Storm Knight or the Last Storm King? Oh, sorry, Storm King. Sorry. Yeah, the last Might Storm get... King. Okay. Sorry, last Storm King. So that is a little bit of blood, blood and fire too. Yeah. But it's it's been talked about in the regular books. Shit. The last Storm King. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget was... multiple choice. Yeah. Thank you, Bosco. All right, do you have an answer or do you want multiple choice? Is it a uh, shit? Uh, you know, the arrogant. Or is it Argiliac? Or, or Galliac? Is that final answer? He's just speaking out loud. It, it's, yeah, mm -hmm. it's because uh, that's early on in the, because I haven't caught up yet. Uh, yeah. Or, or Gilead the Arrogant? Uh, Gilead the Arrogant is your final answer. Yeah. Well, that, that's 100% correct. Oh, shit. Yeah. I didn't it, know that. Ding, ding, ding. It, it was literally one of the last things I read in, in, in the damn book when I was trying to catch up. Why did I think it was a Dundarian? I know the Storm Keep, that's who the Baratheons like, took the words from. Yeah. That's why uh, you were saying something when I brought that up before, didn't you? I got confused about Storm Knight. So, so yeah, that threw me off yeah, too. Right, that was yeah. yeah, that was my bad. Okay, well, two points we. Yep. Alrighty, so. Please to just read a few pages. <laughs> yep. Who's the maester? You say show up, man. One man yeah. show. That's a good one. All right, sorry. Alrighty, so um, how many years before the events of? Game of Thrones, the beginning of the book, did Aegon conquer the Seven Kingdoms? 
Ooh. Exact number? Yeah. Okay. Do I get? Uh, I'm gonna take um, uh, multiple. Turn it. Yeah. Wait, okay. Yeah. All right. So well, uh, wait a minute though. It's it's about three hundred years, isn't it? Do I get a? Does that have to be exactly on the on the number, or do I get uh, like well, a five yeah. year? It, it is, it's asking for for the number. Okay, give me alternatives then. Okay, is it three hundred and two, three hundred and three, three hundred and four, or three hundred and five years? Oh shit! I was way off. Three hundred and two. That is correct. Oh, yeah, I, I would. Yeah. I thought it was two eighty nine. Well, that was that was a guess though. But but uh, the, Aegon started conquering before uh, it was listed right. as history, didn't it? Because yeah. right. it started. It was right. with its coronation, the second coronation that they considered that, yeah. that the start yep. of it. Yep. So so I figured if it was around three hundred, maybe add a year or two, right? Yeah, something like that. So right, anyway, and... lucky guess. Your that was final, a great guess. Your, your final question. Um, who built Storm's End? Oh, come on. Who built Storm's End? Uh, shit. That's in the damn book I, I just was reading, too. It, it is in a book, yes. There is a book. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> I need to think. Uh it's it's early on in the oh, was it Duran? I'm gonna need a full name. Was it was it Duran God's grief? Was that his name? Ah, uh, you were so close. So close, in fact, it's correct. Ah, oh, son of a oh. bitch. Yay, I, oh, holy shit. Shit. I am that, throwing that something was... out there. There's two answers to that. Well, see, that was, see, that, you... that was pure What's your, what... fucking pure luck. I, that was I, amazing, I dude. But there are pure, two pure answers. Luck. Yeah. Does your legend... other one start with B? Yes. Legend says that Bran the Builder was part of that building of he went there and helped him build Storm's End. So you would have had to take yeah. either or. Well, it doesn't matter because you got the luck. answer right and I would have got it wrong, yeah, but yeah. I would have said Bran the Builder. I am shocked you got that. was awesome, dude. Well, it, it was pure luck. Jeez. Uh, pure what the hell was his name again? God's grief. God's yeah, during yep. God's grief. That's it. That is it. Shit. Th- he was trying I to think- marry the the sea princess. I think it was. Uh, uh, and also, really Brandon didn't actually help with that at all. No, but legend. Hole. No, legend says he was part of the building of that. Okay. All right, Scotty. So you've got the choice. Yeah. You can either spin. Or no, I'm spinning. I'm spinning. You have your one mulligan. If you choose so. Our hilt hurts. All right. Spin is choice. Oh, cool. Um, Shit. What are they old. again? You have God, Old and New, Mixed Bag, and Food. Food. Mixed Bag. And God's Old and New. God, that's a, I'm going to go with Mixed Bag. All righty. Mixed Bag it is. I just want to say our hilt hurt. Good to see you, buddy. And as a friend of the channel, make sure you guys check out our Hill Turts. They have some really good um, episodes of their pot. I don't know if they do it as pot and then chop it up, but I, I've watched some good stuff on there. All righty. You first question in mixed bag. Oh, shit. What were the names of the two swords made from ice? Uh, I want to say it was oh, Oathkeeper and Widowmaker. That is incorrect. Ah, oh, fudge. All right, Stig and uh, Teresa. Oh, what were the names I knew of the two I swords? Up. Yeah, I, I think I, you do. I think it was Oathkeeper and Widow's Whale. Yeah, son of a bitch. I got, too too I got too cocky. I got too cocky. The right, minute I... 
Teresa gets a point for that too, right? Yep, she it's... does. Yep. Oh yay! Yeah. Oh, and without even working, this is so um, communism. Shit, we're tied now. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, she's a, uh, she's ahead by one point. Oh shit! No, I'm screwed. No, okay, ahead, so, no. Yeah, no, yeah, you're you're a little bit ahead. No, I'm in dead last because well, because yes, I'm so... giving them God's grief. Yeah. You son of a. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. All right. Next. next question number two. Yep. Who said there will be no men like me? There is only me. Who said there are no men like me? There is only me. Oh God, I think I know. Uh, I'll take multiple choice. I'm not giving them points. Is it Tyrion Lannister, Sandor Glegain, Tywin Lannister, or Jamie Lannister? Shit, you said two of the names that I thought it could have been. Um, I know. I know. A is. Sandor. Wrong. That is incorrect. And then it's the other one. It's Jamie. Big. <laughs> that is correct, it's Jamie. <laughs> Thank you for the point, Scotty. You're welcome. Uh, you know the funniest thing about it was? What? This was one of the test questions that I gave you two weeks ago. And I and got you it, didn't straight, I? Up, straight off the back, straight off the head. You said that's an easy one, it's Jamie. <laughs> oh, why do I second guess myself, man? Okay, let's let's go. Yeah. Hi Lisa. <laughs> she got it right. Alrighty. Uh which of the free cities did Patchface come from? Patchface? Patchface. Ah. Uh, is it Mantis? Or is it... Ah, uh, crap. I'm going to say... Uh, Bravos? That is incorrect. Son of a bitch. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> All right, Stig and Teresa. Mm-hmm. I'm Which of the three cities did Patchface come from? Oh, Patchface. Yeah, Patchface. I, I thought I, I thought you said uh, Patrice. Yeah, no, the Patrice. That's it. Yeah, Patrice. Patchface <laughs> O'Neill. Great, great. Yeah, great Westeroi comic. Yeah, he is kind of, isn't he? Well, he arrived from a ship. The same ship. Um. That status his mom and dad was on, right? Yep. I'm gonna need an answer in five, four, uh, three. Is it? I'm gonna say Volantis. I'm That's guessing it. though. Son of a bitch! How the fuck do you keep doing this? That is correct. Oh I said God. Volantis first. That's the worst part. I said Volantis, and then I go Bravos. <laughs> Why did I do that? Wow. You, you need to like, you know, talk. It's usually. <laughs> Talk ever, think never. Just say it. <laughs> oh well, right, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your final, your final question, which I is can't definitely one that twice. You, okay, dude, this is this is one you really need to think don't, about. Maybe don't even you, overthink. Don't start. <laughs> okay, John Snow. No, go. That is actually one of the answers. The question, <laughs> answers. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, who arranged? Denny's marriage. Um. Oh, I know. Illyrio. Uh, 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 Illyrio. Yeah. You have a last name? Do I have to? There's only one Illyrio in the books. I know. That is correct for two points. Oh, son of a. Ding, ding, ding. The, the full name is Illyrio Mopatis, right? I always Mopatis. screw that up, though, the last name, even when I'm reading I know. it. I know. I just wanted you to say. I knew that's why you oh did that. Oh my gosh, you're terrible. <laughs> I just like, read the book, though, so, you know. No, but even when I'm yeah. reading the book out loud, I'm like, Molarakis or some shit like that. I can't believe I just I said Volantis and then I just go, yeah. I'm an idiot. Well, All right. Every time I hear the, the, the term, the free cities, Volantis is the first that pops into my head. And that's why I said it, too. I'm like, Volantis. Yeah. And then I'm like, but they left, I think, from Bravos, but. It makes sense that he found him in a different city. Yeah, but uh, I think it has to do with his tattoos, right? Because the tattoos are from yeah, right the patch. Yes, yes, yeah. it tells the, like, the slave what he is. Yeah, fake, fake fan. <laughs> you son All of right. a bitch. You ready, Teresa? Sure. <laughs> oh, let's make it easy. Come on. Uh. 
opponent's It has landed choice. on opponent's choice. Oh, shit. All right, so... I kind of want to give her food just to see what she she does. Uh, what is it, though? It's gods. It's we have old, gods in God, the old, old, old and new. And I mean, food. we'll definitely get those. Po I want to see food, and I want to see if she could do it without her cookbook. But it's up uh, to you. You make the call because you're in the lead, and I suck. Well, uh, I, I mean, I, I'm I'm simply just interested in the gods, old and new. Questions. I, I kind of am too, because I just like the category. Yeah, me too. So, uh, so you, which ones have you decided on? You know what? I'm going to roll a dice. Okay. Roll, roll a six-sided dice and uh, let that decide. That okay. Please, I won't get pissed at me. So, what do we do? Odd is food, evens are gods. No, one and two is food. Oh, okay. Uh, Three and four are gods, and yeah, gods older and then yeah, yeah, uh, four. Ah, gods old and new. Okay, gods so, old and new. I'm fucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, actually, if 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 it's a seven star thing, I might know. But let's go. Yeah. yeah well, that's one of the gods. There's a lot though. A lot of gods. Okay. Sorry, I'm just gonna find. Okay, Dude, um, what did I say? Freaking all right. Sandor. For your first question in God's old and new, uh, who or what is a scepter to those who follow the seven? Oh, well, a scepter that's the female version of septin, and they're the equivalent of religious sisters or nuns in, in, in the church, you know, in our world, and they in instruct the women in um you know religion and all that good stuff they're they're kind of like more the equivalent maybe of meisters rather than being priests yeah so in other words that's two points yay <laughs> okay. ding, ding, ding. What, was, what was the what was the succinct answer oh yeah yeah you, you nailed it with your first three words but you just kept, I just kept, I just let you get kept going, so yeah. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, you mean the fe the female version of a septin? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Oh shit. Okay. I should have made my life easier. All right. Um. Also, I would have also accepted the vow that they take is also called a scepter. So or it's a dual Volantis. meaning word. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Did not. I would have just said, you know, a, a nun in Westeros. Mm. Teacher. Well, that's kind of what I said. Yeah. All righty. What is the name of the Lord of the Light worshipped by the Red Priest? Wait, say that no. again. What is the name of the Lord of Light that is worshipped by the Red Priests? The name for the Lord of Light? Oh, shit. No, that's, I don't think shit is the name, though. Uh, <laughs> I'm just I, giving I, you a hint. I'm just giving uh, you a hint. Oh, what, that shit's not the name? Right. Oh, well, I think I figured that out. Okay, my bad. Uh, you know, you start, I, you have multiple choice. Oh, I can do multiple choice. Yes. Oh well, then screw that. Hell yes, I'll do multiple choice. Sorry. Okay. Is it Zondor Doru? Is it Elizinio? Is it Rolo? Or is it Beko? It was the first one. That is incorrect. <laughs> ah. Well, yeah, we could see. Steal. Oh, I get this. Okay. Well, you both do. But yeah, we you, do. You, you but you said three. it wrong. It's Rolor, not Rolo. That's what I said. No, you said Rolo. Rolo. No, Rolo. I, I said oh, Rolo. it's your accent that got yeah. me. Sorry. So, yeah. Well, yeah. It's, it's, it's Rolor. <laughs> yeah, Rolor. <laughs> All right. Next question. <laughs> he um, doesn't even say yeah. you you win. Okay. No, no, you yeah, got I, yeah, yay, yay for us. Oh, yay, yay Volantis. Oh, All right. So when Arya arrives in Bravos, she stays at a temple whose main sacrament seems to be assisted suicide. What is this place called? Take the multiple Oh, is this choice. for me? Yeah, it's yes. Crazy. Multiple choice. Uh, is it the Hall of Mercy, the House of Black and White, the Temple of the Silver Cup, or the Cave of a Thousand Sorrows? Uh, 
what was the second one? Uh, House of Black and White. No, that's not it. Shit, I have no idea. Wait, so, so could you say them one more time? Okay, oh, is it me. Hall of Mercy? House Horror of Mercy? Black and White? The Temple... The Temple of the Silver Cup or the Cave of a Thousand Sorrows? Oh, I want it to be. It's the first one, the Hall of Mercy. That is incorrect. Ah, oh, shit. I, I was going to guess. think for a chance to steal one. Yeah. House of Black and White. That is correct. I'm still pissed about the Volantis one. Yep. I'm, I'm yeah, happy. Remember, that one. Um, I don't know. Do you. How far are you in the books, Teresa? I'm in a storm of swords. I haven't gotten to that part in the book. Right. Yeah, so I was it's just like trying the, to do a supposition. Yeah, the house of black and white has like a a white weirwood door and a black ebony door. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's actually a very interesting place, but it's messed up in there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yin and yang kind of. Yeah, it's like people yeah. are, like they literally drink from this like fountain to kill themselves there, but they have like oh. all the gods. So you can go to whichever god you believe in and kill yourself in front of their altar. All right, last question. Oh. <laughs> it's nuts. All okay, right. what what bloodthirsty goddess is worshipped in the cities of Astapor, Yunkai, and Marine? Ooh, jeez. All right, well, I definitely went multiple choice. Yeah, me too. Is it the Manticore? Is it the Sphinx? Is it the Harpy? Or is it the Griffin? The Harpy. Ooh. Yeah. yeah! I finally I guess right. Go. Yay. Alrighty. All right. So after round number two, the scores are in third place with 13 is Scotty. In second place with 16 is Teresa. And in hey. third place is Stig with 22. Oh, Stig. Yay. Yay for right, Stig. Final round. Oh, there's a final round. Holy shit. Final round. Yep. I... So play, players take turns to answer a predetermined number of characters, people, places, or things. When you miss, you are out. Okay. Or if you get it wrong, or if you get, you get it wrong, the round is over when all people have been eliminated or all answers have been discovered. Each question is worth, each thing is worth one point. Um, and there's about, there's a little over 20 points up for grab. Oh, sure. So, and we just go around? Yep. So, um, Stig, because uh, actually, I'll tell you the thing. What we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to ask you to name every dragon in the books. Oh shit! Okay. So, so you can pick anyone you one at a time. So, Stig, you get the choice. You can either go first or defer. But remember, if you if you lose one out, you're eliminated from this round. So the other people can keep going. So, so say for if, instance, I, if, you, if, if you use both if, stuff up. Scotty can come back and win. Okay. So if if I uh, defer, then I, I might get a different category later on. No, no, no. This is this it's is just a this. for everyone. So put this it this way: if you one. defer, you you go third in the choosing of dragons yep. instead of being the first one that will automatically get it right. In my view, that's all. Uh -huh. And and if I say the same dragon twice, then uh, I'm fucked. Yep. Mm. So, would you like to go first, or would you prefer Scotty to go first? No, I'll I'll, I'll go first. Alrighty. So, for one point, can you uh, name me a dragon? Valerian. Oh, damn, that was a good one. All right. Um correct. Scotty. Oh my god, I just blanked. Uh Vagar. Just quick Scott, Google it. Correct. <laughs> Thank you. Frieza. Valerian. I said that. Oh. Yeah. But I... <laughs> perfect timing. <laughs> Fuck. 
I love you. Well, oh, I, I might be able be to take seconds. This down. I'm a visual person. I'm not. I, I don't even have person. a pen. That's what I'm worried yeah. about too. Or oral yeah, person. Yeah, unfortunately, I you said say. you said the same one. So, um, fuck me. All right. So, stick, stick. Um, Cirax. Ooh. Correct. Uh, Drogon. Correct. Uh, Sunfire. Yep, Sunfire is correct. Um. Oh shit. Uh, Sunfire. Uh, a sheep stealer. Correct. I was gonna hold that one for longer. Shit. Oh, silver wing was that one? Yeah, I, I, I'm right. gonna say silver wing. Okay. Shit, I was gonna say that one next. Um, Danny had Drogon. Oh shit. Um, Black Dread, and then that other one. Um, and then. Ah! Why can't I think of one now? Uh, this said Vagar. This this uh, shit. I I. I got an answer. I know you are. I know you are. Um, fuzzy nuts. I don't freaking know. Shit. Why am I blinking? Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. He wins. Son of a bitch. And your winner. Yeah. Stig and the true king. Stig Kenobi. Yeah. Can I can, can I keep going for more points? You can. <laughs> oh, just shove also, it in her face. Uh, also, I just want to make make point, Scotty, you did it again. You said the entire dragon's name, but one letter. Just what said, what did I say? Because I wasn't adversary, even paying attention. Very you adversary. Yeah, because I know it's named after her brother. I just couldn't remember the name of the dragon. Viserys? Viserys? Vis what is it? Viserion. Vicinia. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten it right. I wouldn't have gotten it right. So. Yeah, give that point to Stig. Oh, a Dreamfire was one. Yep. That was one of the early Oh, I ones, thought you it? said it. I thought you already said oh, Dreamfire. No. And there was one called Stormcloud. Stormcloud, that's correct. Yeah, and Taraxis. Taraxis, correct. Right. Yeah. yeah, and I think one was called Morning. Yes, Morning is one. And uh, well, then I'm out because I can't remember uh, Daenerys's. Uh, Rhaegar, uh, or Rhaegar or Re Rogar? Rhaegal? Drogon. Like no, I said Drogon. So then she Rhaegal, named... Rhaegal is one. Okay, Rhaegal. Uh, named after and... like her son, unborn son, right? Yep. Yeah. And her uh, brother. And her yeah. brother. Now, anyway, I, I, I'm I'm empty. So yeah, the else? ones that you missed out on, I can't believe you forgot Cannibal. Oh shit! I so had Sheep can Stealer and Cannibal in my head too. Yeah. I don't know why. I just blank some. They go hand in hand together. Yeah, they so. kind of do. Uh, so we have Cannibal, uh, Caractus. We have uh, Grey Ghost, Maylies, Maraxis, Moon Dancer, Morgul, <laughs> um, Sea Smoke, Sea Smoke. Um, uh, well, I, I I said sea smoke. No, I don't think you. I don't remember you hearing you say that uh, after uh, Dreamfire. You, you you said no. You said Silverwing. Yeah, you said Silverwing. That's why, because yeah. you you yeah, took that one. What, out. what afterwards when I was rubbing it in? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think uh, you, you, we, I didn't have, hear you uh, say it, but we have shit, you, you should set them all almost. We have what was that last one? Tricos. Okay, Viserion. Uh, Tessarion as well. Oh, Tessarion. Okay. Uh, Vermax. Vermithor. Verma Son of a shit. And the three, what they call the unknown dragons. The, the the last dragon was officially called the last dragon. Yep. Um, and two uh, unknown dead dragons that were killed in the pit. And fuzzy nuts. You know, oh, uh, yeah. the, uh, the, uh, the, the dragon from the winter um, dragon book counts. Because that's seven. Oh, the, the, the ice dragon? Yeah. I can't remember his name though. Did he have a name? 
Yeah, uh, I don't remember what a, it was. Is that a kid's book? Yeah. George oh, Martin I should get that for my kids. George Martin said it is uh, yes. part of Westeros canon. So we know that ice dragons actually are real and they're bigger than regular dragons, correct? Yeah. Yep. And, and Westeros did have dragons in its past. Um, that's another fun fact. Uh, question, what hair snapper, one man show says, Puff the magic magical teleporting dragon uh, and oh, hair oh. snipper. What is your favorite dragon? We'll start with you, Grant, because you've been asking a lot of questions. Um, my favorite dragon would probably be, uh, oh, I, I, I do like Damon's, um, big red, red neck one, um, uh, Cyrex. Cyrex, Cyrex, right? Yeah. 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 The, the one that's kind yeah. of like snake-like. Dude, he, 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 he looks like if you were to like have, have someone who was beaten in the head as a child yeah. and they grow up really muscular, like, you're like, is he all there? Yeah. But I can't, yeah. yeah. I can't I wait to see unique. That's the, that's the point. But overall, if I'm if I'm being fair, it's got to be Cannibal. Cannibal's pretty cannibal. dope, dude. I I kind of I like Cannibal. What do you eat for breakfast? Other fucking dragons. Yeah, that's what I, I eat. I kill motherfucking dragons and eat them. Like that's a badass dragon. Uh, Blair and the Black Dread too. Like to me is when you first see that artist rendition of Blarion and freaking Aegon is like this big on him the conqueror like that drag like they've kind of changed the shape and size of him but the very first photo like uh artist rendition like Aegon is like so small riding on him that that freaking dragon was a monster i'm gonna get that picture All you right, guys so have a favorite dragon yeah and then for a bit of fun we'll do the food category just to throw it out yeah because we're not gonna have yeah. time for the chapter um yeah. but we're, we will do chapter eight nine eight nine and hopefully ten next week because i want to get to the dance of dragons i'm um, voting for uh the what it is valerian that's the biggest one yeah yeah that one yeah uh let's see valerian where is that which was black i think and black right oh yeah he was this is the very first photo we ever saw of him okay he's a little bigger but let me show you guys. This is, I believe this. Wait a minute. Let me double check that. Is that the first one? Let's see of him. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you this picture because it is pretty cool. Um, it, and I got to be honest, like some of these artist renditions were what made me fall in love with this story. That's why I got the Rise of the Dragon um, book because there's art on almost every page. It's insane. But look how small he is compared like he's about yay big compared to that dragon like that dragon is massive i just think he looks so oh, uh, freaking cool i i should have remembered morgul because he's named after minas morgul from tolkien it's one of the little oh uh, really i never even realized that yeah it's one of the references for for, for tolkien look how this artist really like they even put the sigil on the guys. Um, Ima imagine having that one as a statue in your home. With, oh with my god! The, yeah. Oh. I mean, look how beautiful. I, the, whoever drew this, or painted this, made this. I mean, it is gorgeous. Yeah. Like just the texture. Like that dragon was bad ass. And then like you got the 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 saddle. <laughs> the riding saddle which is pretty dope um yeah all right you imagine know, one <laughs> imagine one of the targaryens having a squire and like yeah. Hey, yeah go go saddle up my dragon <laughs> that's crazy uh matt smith did steal mostly every scene he was in uh when i read uh sit-ins for sith's sithis uh, when I read Fire and Blood, I hate hated the actor for Damon, but he nailed it. Yeah, um, Matt Smith. Yeah, good old Schmitty. All right, this one is in category food. If you know what, you can just say it. What is what is Sansa's favorite sweet? Lemon cakes. Yep. Yeah. Um. Usually, it has barley in it and chunks of carrot and onion and turnip, and sometimes even an apple. Um, with a film of grease on top, like a swimming pool. What is the name of this flea bottom speciality? Uh, brown. 
Oh yeah, Bolo, brown. Bolo, Bolo brown or something. Yeah. Bolo brand is correct. Yeah, yeah, shit, man, that was good. I couldn't think oh. of it. I was like, stew. Um, yeah, well, Bolo um, brown. Oh, well, um, like I said, I just finished the book, the first book, yeah. and Aria eats it, and uh, when she's hiding uh, before Ed, Ned gets. You're yeah, you're a big reader, okay? You're a big reader, Teresa. You read, and I, I'm not as big of a reader, but I don't know of any other author in let's just say fin- fantasy that I've ever read when he describes the food. It is in such great detail. I mean, like they made a cookbook out of how he described how the food was prepared. I don't know anybody else who does that. Robert Jordan. Yeah. Does he go into that depth? Because I've not read anymore. some. Well, <laughs> no. I did read the beginning of Wheel of Time, or I read the first book, uh, but I don't remember him going in in such great detail. Okay, that's cool. I'm... Okay, so... Um... What do you think, Teresa? No, I mean... Well, because he also goes into, like, all the details of how it was prepared and all that, if I ever recall you correctly. I, actually, one that just comes off the top of my head, it's not a fantasy writer, but it's a the original little house book by laura ingalls wilder oh really she went, uh, you know they were children's books that was, but that was very a book. oh oh Teresa, you're missing one uh dragon lands oh yes oh yeah. does he go yeah yeah, they, yeah weiss and hickman they, they have a they have a cookbook too yeah oh wow the, yeah, but, yeah the spiced potatoes how you make those oh that's yeah. crazy and my my sister cookbook, talked about Laura Ingalls. She wrote it though. It was in the book. It was in the books. But yeah, there are yeah. little house cookbooks. But yeah, she would go all out. Yeah, I remember. Very influential on me when I read them as a little girl. Really, those oh, are great gosh. books for young ladies. Oh, they're amazing, and and they're good history too. But that that was the first one that really stuck to my head when you said that. Um, yeah. But yeah, but of course, there's that. There's there's lots. Because everyone likes food. Let's just admit yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely could tell uh, George R. R. Martin likes food. Um, <laughs> you, 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 know. Know what, you know what always makes me hungry when I'm re- reading fantasy books? It, it's when they're on a journey and then they camp. And oh, then they yeah. eat something. Because they, yeah, they're, yeah. they're ro- roasting a rabbit or something over yeah, the fire yeah. or something like As that. As like, like the grease drips into the fire. Yeah. yeah dude. And, it always sounds so I'm, delicious. Yeah. And, and I'm reading it in bed. Like the force, <laughs> I'm like you, fucker. Now I'm hungry. Yeah, you know, well, especially if it's, it's really worse when you've got to fast for a test. Yeah, <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to Bloodbane, giving you shout out. Did good job on trivia. Grant should do it more. Awesome. All right, so um, in Storm of Swords, one of the kings of Westeros chokes to death during the extravagant feast. What has he just eaten immediately prior to this incident? A penis. <laughs> um, a fish bone. Isn't Sorry. It? Yeah. One of the lords of Westeros, you said? No, one of the kings. Of kings Westeros. of Westeros. Uh, fish bone, or I was thinking of a chicken. Bone. It is a fish. Uh, I think it's it, a fish bone. Who is it? You don't have to no, do no, final answer. They, Just uh, let us know. Uh, I think it's early in um, the Fire and Blood, because I seem to remember. In yeah, in a storm of swords, yeah. Oh, storm of swords. swords. Um, then oh, I, I, don't um, I don't know. I don't know. All right. It wasn't Rob. It wasn't. We're talking in the storm of swords. So, well, so one of the kings that was Balon. in play for. Yeah, that's what I was wondering too, because Balon well, got so... pushed off a bridge. Uh, John or uh, Rob got murdered. And then who was the other one? That well, it would have to be Joffrey who was eating something. Oh yeah, he was eating. Well, yeah, yeah, it was but, Joffrey. But he didn't choke. He was poisoned. He, but it was a it was a, a blackbird pie. Oh yeah, but, yes. But, yeah, but the poison was called a strangler. And it was most likely in the wine he drank. Yeah, but so okay. but, but I'm saying is we don't think I I wasn't thinking of him choking to death. You know he was I think right. Of him. Right, he's being poisoned. Well, that's what the poison out. does. The poison chokes him. Yeah, he choked on his ambitions. That, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's pigeon pie world. and lemon cream. Yeah, yeah, it was Joffrey. Pigeon, that's, it was. Yeah. That's a good one, dude, because I wasn't even thinking. I was thinking historically. Yeah. All right, and last one. Uh, people of Westeros often mention what two food items as a generic way to describe a meal that might be shared among friends or companions. 
it's, isn't it? Uh, well, it, it's bread. Well, it's bread and salt. But that's for like house right now. Uh, you'll, um, you'll, you'll think. Yeah, I'm thinking of something protection. different. Yeah, yeah. We say the question again. I'm sorry. The people of Westeros often mention what two food items as a generic way to describe a meal that might be shared amongst friends or companions. It's uh, oh, oh, it's oh. bread and bread and forbidden fruits. Oh, is meat it and meat? Oh. Meat and meat is correct. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. Ding, ding. Hey. This is why we need to keep her away from that food category. Yeah, she, she, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> meat gonna, and mead. Let us have meat and mead. It's a thing. It's a castle yeah. thing. Uh, yep. It's, it's a thing. And Gosh, there you go. There's all the questions. Yeah. I, I'm going to admit fully, though, that I was fucking lucky yeah. with, uh, with the questions because <laughs> a lot of them were stuff I just recently read, like within a week. And um, then I got, I was spot on on a couple of guesses too. Mm. Oh, also, the, sorry, final score. Uh, Stig, 26 in second place with 16 points. Teresa. Yay. And Scotty. Yes. Was on 16 points. Oh, I oh. did get 16? Yeah. So. Oh, wow. So, so I, I almost got twice what they got. Yeah. I mean, if 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 Teresa was paying attention on the first first guess, it might have been a bit different, but yeah. Oh, oh you happens. know the dragons one. Yeah. <laughs> I I had it in my head, Valerian. I've got it. I've got it. Because <laughs> I heard but it, I and I'm it. like, I I'm like, did she say Valerian? I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure she said Valerian. I was just like, okay. If that's if the, crazy. If the, if the if the question had been uh, name, you know, Targaryens. I would have been in trouble because they, they all sound the same. Uh, yeah. You know, well, well, the dragon names are more unique, but yeah. The, yeah. The, all the Targaryens, you know, they, they, a lot of them end, end with is. Yeah. You know, yeah, is and rain is. Or well, there's rainy's rainer, rainy, rainer. Yeah, I know. They That's mess me up every rain, time. Uh, and uh, Varys, maybe. There's Varys, there's Varys, which is also different, but spelt exactly the same way. Aries, then... Daenerys, Dame, uh, Daron, Damon. Uh, there's so many that are kind of close. Like Wait, you got Aemon, yeah, Aegon, well, Eric, Aemon, Eric, and Eric, Damon, yeah, oh, Eric, yeah, yeah, those bastards. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, man. Can we have that a moment a of science for the fact that I tied with sporking and <laughs> I had literally no clue about basically any of these questions? Yeah, <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm I still respect. Tied. Respect. I basically uh, leached off of sporking for quite a few of them. Yeah, I just said the answer and then said something different. Um, if we go back. I probably won just second guessing myself. I lost. Uh, but you know what? That's a that's a well, sum each, for you each, kids out each there. Each one of those ones that you second guessed is yeah. a four point difference in swing, and you did it three <laughs> times. So there was twelve <laughs> points there. That would have been the difference. It's true, man. It's yeah. true. I just a I don't know why I did that. It's like the first thing that popped in my head. Because you right. say it, and then you go, no, it's not it. <laughs> yeah. Well, because in my mind, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I got that too easy. These are hard questions. And then I should have realized, no, you're right, yeah. you dummy. Um, but that was fun, man. That was a lot of fun. Oh, God. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm, I'm never playing it again because I, I feel I, uh, I can't top this. Pure fucking <laughs> luck. It's not going to happen twice. Oh, well, I was buy a damn lottery close. Ticket, I was damn close on the geographical ones, though, because I, I did know the frost fangs. Uh, well, like I, I said, I, I, really I was. Read the, it just. I was literally. Like. I was literally thinking about the last question, naming all the theories, and then I realized there's over 500 known theories. So it's just like, no, we're going to be here forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that was a good time, guys. But we're going to have to wrap it up because I have to go to work in the morning and it's been over two hours and Stig needs to not eat food. Um, yeah, Lisa, <laughs> one man show, sitting for Sith. Uh, somebody, and uh, Zombie Box Reviews were definitely involved in answering some stuff in there. So that was fun. Um, we'll probably do it again next month. Uh, we'll do it, you know, we'll get it so it's a well oiled machine because. There was moments there where I, I took way too long. So, but I thank you guys. Thank you, Grant, for putting that together. Um, next week, we will discuss some chapter reviews. 
because uh, I know Teresa has a lot to say about some of the chapters and um, Jaharis ones are pretty good. The way they cut them up though are a little weird. Um, mm-hmm. Like they give you, they kind of go, it's not really all chronological. It's kind of like they give you some stuff and then they go back, you know, but um, there's quite a few yeah, of those. They, they focus on uh, the laws and the yeah. trade routes and everything like that. And him working with, um, what's his wife's name? I always forget. Uh, uh, Alison. Al- yeah, Alisane. That's Alisane, it, yeah. yeah. Alisane, yeah. Alisane. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, and then it goes on. It goes on about him not being able to pick it. And then it goes back to them being younger. So it's it's like in chunks of what they've done, which yeah. is a weird way of doing it. But yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I just saw something that really pissed me off. In and uh, get social media, how crazy is that? Um, but thank you, Miss Martin Muses. Would you like to uh, let them know where to find you? Well, you can find me here on YouTube where I talk about what makes me laugh, makes me cry, makes me happy, makes me sad, or just really ticks me off. I uh, have some more premieres coming up because I will be on the road for the next two days, at least, or maybe three days. So please stay tuned for some of those if I can get those uh, up and going. Also, Pub Crawl Night 5 will be continuing when I return home. So stay tuned for those. I have 30 hours left i mean the, youtube is killing me the last 30 hours i need to be completely monetized not just mostly monetized so if any of you all could watch some of my stuff especially if you want to learn about like narcissists because they suck or any other kind of cool things maybe some of the fantasy book discussions maybe go over and have a look like and a subscribe and i would definitely appreciate it that is awesome yeah, yeah. Just leave the playlist running for a while. Or something. Well, that's what I was yeah. just about to share out with people uh, when I oh. get it. Um, Cause that's what I did that last time. And I, I meant to do it last week and I think I closed down my computer. So uh, I just grab the one that looks like it has the most videos. I think you could just do like play all, but um, the, the two towers one is rather X rated at times. <laughs> oh all right yeah watch the two tower well definitely the book discussion ones are loads of fun so you know yeah. again you know play them and listen to them and maybe it'll inspire you to w- read some good fantasy but yeah unfortunately yeah. if you read the battle of helms deep chapter uh, don't read it aloud with friends because it his choice Renny, is Renny, well, ready, yeah, we'll blame Ready, but his choice of words were very unfortunate. I, the poor man, he was writing it like in 1940. He didn't know where our he minds was right. would all go. Yeah. <laughs> what did you I, say? I, I don't know. I don't know what I said. I said he's a guy. I, I don't even know what oh, he said. Oh, I thought so. you said he was gay, and I'm like, oh God, no, God no. I was like, um, well, I'm just saying, are you like those Ring of Power shills that are? Yeah, to... exactly. He was actually gay, and the hobbits were gay. And, and, and he really wanted to write it but the only reason he didn't was because of society and it's like or maybe he just wanted to write him as best friends I yeah right. <laughs> his roommate i, I mean maybe uh, that's just what happened imagine that guys can be friends yeah that's crazy right um vanessa lore thank you very much i just put uh your playlist that does the similarian uh hobbit and some token stuff it's like 40 videos just hit play and you know you can mute walk away and let it run and that's what i will be doing myself tonight so thank you for being here oh well thank you and thank you for all the support everyone's been giving me it's been a lot of fun absolutely um stig anything you want to talk about or say uh yes i have a stream on wednesday no eight central on morris channel uh nice. page shadow on youtube we have our monthly uh, The Good, The Fun, and The Weird. Where we oh, talk that's a good one. Good news, fun news, and weird news. It It's pretty much 80% weird, though. Isn't but, that the uh, best? <laughs> basically, we got tired of talking about uh, negative stuff. So we've been doing fun and good stuff. I'm with you than that, man. And uh, weird thing, though, the views got cut in half. Of so course they did. People like negative stuff. I, I mean, look at my but, channel. It happens. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it's fun to hang out with Mara. And um, we do a top 10 list once per month as well. Top 10 favorite movies from a certain year. 
Are you in 86 uh, now or 87? 86 will be the next one. And holy crap. It's what a great it, year. It, it's, uh, I, I looked at it and I started the list and I'm yeah. like, I have to leave out. I might have to leave out Top Gun. Oh, this, yeah. I there's mean, there's so many though. Yeah. But, but you're going to, you're going you're gonna to keep aliens in, right? Or transformers. <laughs> Yeah, both of them I'm probably going to keep in, yeah. Yeah, Transformers Chad, Chad, the movie was one of my favorite. All time. Well, it's awesome. It's a great mm -hmm. movie. It really you know? is. Soundtrack right. alone is amazing. You got so, the touch. Just out of curiosity, how deep does your racism run? My <laughs> my racism goes all the way down to my big toe. Yeah, he's a right. Okay. Cool. So is that why you're or, not going to talk about Crocodile Dundee, the greatest film that was ever ever made? In that I'll, year? I'll, tell you, I'll tell you a spoiler. It's on my damn list. Oh, yeah. go. So, you know what happens when you assume and, you make an ass out of you yeah. and you. And I'll tell you one thing up in Norway, we get a lot of Aussie shows. So, I, I've watched a, quite a few of them when I you ever watch up. now. Is it just Aussie or do you get New Zealand too? Because you ever see the Almighty Johnsons? I, no, I, 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 I watched, uh, let's uh, uh, is it a country practice? Oh, Eric yeah. Ban yeah and practice, Eric yeah. Banner was in it a bit. Uh, neighbors, we had a Home and Away. Uh, yeah. Water Rats. Water, oh, yeah. Way. Yeah. That's Water Rats is police cops on the. On, yeah. On, yeah on that, the, on I the, remember. The I, I think I've seen that. I want, I think I told you about the Almighty Johnsons like three or four years ago when we first met because you were bringing up Ragnarok and it has a lot to do with that. So uh it's a it's a like a fun premise it's not the greatest show but the premise at least the first season's fun it's like the kiwi norse gods yeah the norse gods uh left norway and ended up in new zealand and they they get reborn through a family line you and mean it's, it's like gone. yeah something like that it's actually really fun it's a funny it, oh, it's uh, a good one also uh one of the most fucked up movies i've ever seen which is an, is an aussie movie was shown on Norwegian TV when I was a kid, and I laughed so hard I almost pissed myself. Uh, it, it's the great bad boy Bobby. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, <laughs> never. Yeah, heard the, 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 it, it's realistic, actually. Well, it was. It's 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 like it could happen, but it's it, we'll watch it, Scotty. Okay. Uh, I'll, uh, you, you'll have to I'll have it, to write that it, down. It, it, it's it's fucked up. It's let's just say it's about a guy who's been trapped in the same room for thirty years. By his fucked up mom. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's who, crazy. Who, who sleeps with him? Oh, great! That's awesome. And, and, and then he breaks free in a way, goes out into the world as, and he's mentally four years old. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that's crazy. It's full uh, frontal nudity and everything in it. Jeez. Yeah. All right, maybe I'll check that out. I mean, guy, guy penis. Um, thank you guys. Uh, oh, Grant, Grant, anything you want to talk about? Uh, yeah, so um, I'm going to be doing a video recently on this uh, the new, this new trend in uh, colleges all the way around the world where apparently now you've got to walk out on your national anthem. Uh, it starts oh, yeah, today, it's just... so, so get get prepared for uh, a bunch of people being upset about stuff. And it's uh, apparently <laughs> a global... Oh, you were? Okay. Yeah, because uh, LSU yeah, walked out. Thing, so. yeah, they, LSU they walked out on their national anthem, but Iowa stayed. So good for you, girls. Yeah, so they're doing they're doing a big thing over here with it where they're um yeah when the I didn't know this is a world thing. thing it's a world thing yeah it, it's oh, apparently man. it's to, it was it had something to do with uh trans visibility day not going as well or something yeah. or other so this is like a continuation yeah because it was fucking Easter yeah like let's <laughs> they wouldn't even let the kids in the White House paint any religious thing on their paintings it, they can only do like eggs. But yet they celebrated Trans Day on Easter. This blasphemy. I'm sorry. No disrespect to people that are have that feeling that they are somebody else. Love who you are. Love yourself. God made you the way you were. Maybe I don't know. Talk to uh, somebody because I'm sick and tired of um, tolerating things. When you attack, and I, I'm pretty laid back Christian, but when you're attacking the day our Lord ro rose. And came back from the dead to show allegedly. he was the son of God. Allegedly, to you Jewish people, I get that. Um, you killed him. Um, from the dead. Whoa, whoa, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, they sorry. They killed him. <laughs> I, 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 it wasn't Australian Jews. I'll at least say that. No, oh, joke. But sorry. Really to actually, yeah, I, the theologian really in me was like, 
<laughs> no, the I'm just playing. Of Jews? You yeah. think we would kill the king of all Jews? Like, <laughs> God damn punch is pilot gets a why, crab. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Do you want to know why Norway wins now? Why? Oh, you're God's kid. Because because uh, our God has a hammer. Yours got nailed to a cross. Oh God! I never thought of that. Yeah, but he. he okay, he lightning came. is going to strike yeah. all over the place. All but of no, us. But, but, but good no. point. Well, because a lot of people, well. Sometimes because people celebrate Christmas more, it seems they forget that Easter is actually the day of days yeah. like for the feast. It, it, <laughs> yes. it, 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 yeah. it makes Christmas look like, you know, it's, small things. And they knew absolutely. exactly what they were doing now. And some people mm -hmm. have said, well, it's always been March 31st. It's like, don't even go there. Don't even try. Always you know, like you know, the last two years. Kiss my You know what, though? Uh, I, I'm kind of an open minded atheist. Yeah, and and even I can see that that shit was an attack on Christianity yes. easily, and they shouldn't have done it. They no. shouldn't have done it. It was disrespectful, and, and I don't <laughs> even care if you you wanted to celebrate it, but then to turn around and tell children that they couldn't put something of a religious image on their painting at the well, White uh, House well, because uh, they were going to offend somebody at an well, Easter celebration. It was really weird. Poor, poor little Damien couldn't put any of his demonic symbols on his picture. Poor <laughs> he only could put six, six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but Biden did a statement today saying that the, 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 the Twitter statement, and he mm. didn't do it. Because, well, he doesn't. So, yeah. Cause he doesn't remember he doing remember. it. Yeah. Oh my well, God. You know, look. Also, did you find it weird that he, he referred to Christians as Egypt worship worshippers? That's a weird way of. <laughs> yeah, we Egypt worship worship. Easter. We worship a feast day. It's like no, we're it not Egypt. really. Oh, do you agree? Egypt. It's the most sacred day to me. It's yes. the most no, it sacred is. day in Christianity, and you go ahead and instead what of Good Friday. So no. No, the most well, sacred day. Is, he, he, it's, it's called good in the name. Like it does. Well, sound no, good no, in but the name. technically, the solemnity of the resurrection of the Lord is the highest feast day of the year. It is yes. the uh, that's why everyone has eggs. <laughs> like they wouldn't do that on a. I'm sorry. There's a one other religion they would never have done that to, but yeah. you know, us they would definitely uh, Mormons. Yeah. Mormons, those son of a bitches. Um, no, they got magic. Underwear. Uh, yeah. It's just but speaking you of know, people who who who, who hey, aren't. That underwear bad. looks pretty though. It. I wear it. The girl it one just, does, not the guy. It one. just. It, what kills me is that underwear. it. Like it's underwear. just. It was a world attack. It was an idea that point zero zero one percent of the population was more important than half the fucking world. So well, whatever. And they do it on purpose. You see, I, yeah. my opinion is they. They know exactly what they're doing because they're trying to taunt us into doing something stupid. Yes. So and we will do what God said. Turn the other. Right. right. We will do what Jesus taught us to do. Turn the other cheek and tell them to go fuck themselves. He I think that's the that, actual verse, uh, verse yeah. from the Bible. I'm pretty sure. Close to it. Sadly, though, a lot of people have confused it with spreading the cheeks rather than <laughs> oh, the cheeks. Oh, it's the <laughs> so you gotta really love someone to spread the yeah, cheeks. See, I haven't had to go to confession for a while, and I swear, yeah. if I, yeah. if I, I, I will never forgive you. <laughs> I, Amen. Amen. I, I I didn't laugh. I just, I, I God I had it, I dude. Laughing. Jesus has a sense of humor. You could uh, yeah, see I it know. all through the Bible. Um. I also wanted to just bring up, I have really little knowledge. So maybe, I, you know what? I'm not even going to talk about it because, you know, I don't really know enough. Uh, but some, you know, in the comic world, something terrible happened. And it's just because assholes on social media, you know, push somebody over the edge. And that's just sad to hear. But um, I don't know enough of it to know what's true and what's not. So what I will say is. In the light of dawn. In the height of dawn, you son of a gun. Lie, a Thanks, everybody, for coming. Take care. Hey, five minutes. Five minutes? What? Seven I was trying to do a segue. Did you just keep the scene? Ah. As whispers of a secret
We need to release this song. It's killer. That mountain.